Bonsoir. Uh, hi, Raiders. Sorry, we're just setting up on my end. Um, we're sitting, still setting stuff up. But thank you for stopping by, Tavernot. Um, and I hope you guys were having a wonderful stream. What were you guys doing? I assume playing D&D. &D. Um, but yeah, how are you guys? What up? Uh, we're going to be streaming some D&D &D ourselves. We've just started uh, on session 21. Uh, it's the uh, second episode of season two. Um, 
and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dive into other world and do some funky spiritual stuff there. Um, and I'll do a quick recap of the session just before we get started. I'm just gonna quickly um, just qu uh, continue sorting stuff out. Well, so hello Never Squid, hello AJ, hello Georgia, hello Sam. What up? How are you guys doing? But yeah, I shall see you guys in a second. Say, is what I say, is what I say, is what I say. Bonsoir. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I'm just going to say hello to everyone again, uh, even though I already said hello to you. Is the music fine? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? What are all the things? We'll see you. Hello, Sam. Hello, Georgia. Hello, AJ. Hello, Tavern Norton. Thank you for the raid. I hello appreciate it. Never Squid. Hi. What up? Tavern Norton. Yes. Frankie. What up? Hi. Hello, LV. And is that everyone? That is all the people. The music is fine. Perfect. It's too perfect. Thank you. I. You know what I'm like, Sam. With with these playlists, they gotta be on point. There's a reason they call me the Vibe Master, which is actually true because like, I didn't. It wasn't my choice. Be. You're digging through the world we define the stream. Sorry, Sam. We were going to start like 10 minutes early, but I uh, accidentally deleted a few things I had planned, so I had to quickly like, sort that out. <laughs> Georgia cannot sit straight. We were actually talking about how like buys have like, yeah, we, we just cannot ever sit straight. And I think we were talking about you because your back is broken. Rip, Sam. Get well soon. Can we get get well soon in chat for Sam because he's broken back? It's not actually broken. He's just lost like three discs or something he hasn't actually lost three discs don't i'm lying he is he does have a bad back though right now it's so yeah <laughs> me seeing a literal 90 degree angle it'd be like that aj you're just you're just you're just too perfect like that right we just got the reveal to um the reveal our delta green team is going against a king on yellow oh sounds like some um 
sounds like a deathmatch kind of shit, like you're playing Halo or something. That sounds really cool. What, like, is it like, are you guys doing... I assume, like, those are code names for, like, a group, maybe, like, like Rebels, I assume? I don't know. All I know is in Star Wars, they called, like, their team is Red Team. Or Red, like, Red, Red things. I don't know. You can't even if you tried, though. E. Hello, at least one of the characters is already obsessed with the play. E. Um, that's the best thing. Why? Wait, when they're obsessed, it's... I'm, I, I haven't got anything funny to say with that, but like, yes, no, I, like, I, I, I actually say, like, my players, Sam, um, Scientist Sam, or Sam East, and Georgia, are, like, they are more invested in the, in the world than I am, and even, like, one of the guest players, Epixel, who, uh, we'll get to that in a bit, uh, is also just, if not more obsessed than I am with the saying, and it makes me very happy. Where are we? Actually, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. The king in yellow? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just as confused too. You have to run up. Oh no, we can't know who the king in yellow is. Thank you for the luck though, Tavano. I hella appreciate that. And thank you for stopping by and bringing all the raiders. Music's fine. Yes, um, or five master cards. Yeah, that's why like that was um the, the first bit of merch we made, which you can grab on my red bubble if you want to grab it. Um get all some geese that sounds rough it it does sam sam just broken yeah sam stop being broken my mom, my mom had to deal with that it sucks e. yeah, but yeah it's a long recovery period whatever it is so yeah he started yoga now or pilates either or. i can't remember if he mentioned he already does pilates one or the other no the king in the yellow is a cthulhu mythos ah, i see i see ah i assume you're playing call of cthulhu it makes sense now it's i, I get it now ah i'm smart I've read, I haven't read Cthulhu online. Team Mom and hoping things stay fine. Yeah, I was good. I thought you were insulted making a joke there, Sam. I'm too used to Sam making your mom jokes to me. I can't even say any of them to his, cause like, the two me. It's a play that drives people insane because it's a possessed by the kings in yellow and it summons a person to the planet Carcosa. Ah, funky. It do sound dope. The circle is complete. Hi, June. What up? How you doing? You have returned at this. What were you doing? Were you on holiday? Were you doing, were you, what, what What? fun things have you been up to since you were away? Or it summons the unspeakable onto your world. Is that Cthulhu? I don't know. I only know of the one. Or Cthulhu's mom. I know of her. I don't know her name, but like I know she exists. Probably back. Probably. Welcome back at the Disney. Thank you, Sam, for making me have to read that. I'm technically still getting ready to lurk. No worries. You, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, you, you do that, and thank you for again raiding. And I appreciate you being here. And I hope you have a good dinner. We're running Delta. I see. Gotcha. With investigators investigating the Muppet Show. Oh, funky. I've never watched the Muppets. I only I know of some of them, but I don't. I've never watched it. I don't think like I don't. Yeah, I don't think it was on TV in the UK to my knowledge like we had Sooty that was the closest thing I think to the Muppets that I have it was like a little bear and it was a puppy and it's really cute and I, I I liked Sooty I do neither yoga nor Pilates but I will learn how to become an, an IRL ditto Pokemon you do this Sam you, you weird person <laughs> Delta Green's a government black ops to cover all the cultures. ah stuff so we had something so I, I had a D, D game that i was running with my brothers where we they were the men in black but they were instead of uh ghosts it, or aliens sorry it was demons and ghosts but they hated it so like they never they only did one session they loved the first session then once they realized it was like actual D and like men in black shit they're like nah they wanted to be useless like as in like they wanted to play like themselves and like have like no skills or anything they just wanted to run away from ghosts Fun heroes in the shadows. The world will never know, but they will know. Yee. Unless they want to uncover the to the public and do a big reveal, like, a face reveal, <laughs> a Black Ops organization. It was actually recorded in the UK. Oh, me, interesting. Now I don't know what the case was with me. It'd just be like that weird older everyday fucking pop off, Sam pop off. But yeah. Um. Hello everyone. Welcome to session twenty one of Throwing Us Up Sands, a uh, trial by fire, part two. Um, where 
I'm going to do a quick recap uh, once I find my notes for the recap somewhere. Where are you? My notes. It's not even like in my notes. I just read like the recap that I, I write in the promo. But I've got to find it. So yeah. Um, yeah. After last session, uh, after returning with Rocky, uh, reuniting with Rocky and Randall, our adventurers had the chance to catch some breath after the cataclysmic events and explosion of the prison factory of Kasakawa. Um, while on the beach, Lo felt it was like time to begin her trial by fire and start preparing some funeral rites for just like this wave of lost spirits that surrounded her and just to try to appease all the emotions of negativity that just were crowding this beach. Um, as night was falling. Um, and yeah, while she was preparing some lanterns, Rocky and Randall did their little farewells as well to their lost friends uh, from uh, Kasakawa that helped them escape the prison, which you can learn about if you watch Jailhouse Rocky, which was the uh, part of the finale for season one. Uh, you can And you can check that out on YouTube after the stream if you want to, or you can watch it now so that you can come back when this is up on YouTube and watch the VODs, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, if you're lurking or watching the VODs right now, thank you so much for being here and I appreciate you. And yeah. Yes. Um yeah. and as like she was giving this funeral right, uh Lo felt her body just begin to sink into the ground and she just started falling um over an insurmountable might be the word amount of depth. Falling from the sky into the ocean into the void. And snagging on the world weave as she was falling with her spirit companion Yuki the Kitsune. Um, and as as she was falling through the universe, uh, she her physical form, or her spiritual form was falling through the universe. Her physical form had, for lack of uh, better terms, ascended to a monstrous fiery form, where she fused with her Kitsune and uh, sprouted fiery uh, nine tails that and creating this veil of fire around her. And she started attacking her friends, which was what happened last session. The uh, the big thing that happened last session, if you were there, you might have uh, might recall that. It was a pretty big moment, I would say. Um, and yeah, they were battling on the beach platforms, uh, on these raised uh, stone platforms on the beach. And as they started, as their bodies were just failing them and they're growing exhausted, there was a sudden flash of white light. And that was the end of that session. And we're going to pick up this session with Lo Nico falling through the sky. Um, before I start, I'm just going to just quickly plug a few things. Um, firstly, as you, you can see some of the fan art on screen right now, if you would like to make fan art and also share it with us, you can share it in the Discord or on send it to me over Instagram, Twitter, or wherever you can find me. Um, if you join the Discord, we do a neat little d, &D and we have a neat little d, &D and art community, and we're doing a bunch of cool Halloween movie nights here and there. We do a West Marches that I normally run three times a week. I'm currently on break because I have a lot of games I'm running uh, this month, or being a part of this month, which I will get to in a second. Um, if you enjoy the, most of the art you're seeing on stream, Almost all of it, except for this illustration and the maps and the fan art, are done by me. And you can find most of that on Instagram or Twitter. And, um, yeah. Uh, next is our sponsors, so I'm going to quickly go over those. Oh, no, there is one other thing I want to talk about. Uh, tomorrow, I am doing a uh, special one-shot in um, the build-up to Roll20Con. I have been invited to start the Roll20 Ambassadors Showcase on uh, Monday at 8pm um, BST and all throughout that week there's going to be one one shot a day uh, and I am running a, a one shot set in Sri Leo at the Isoto Casino which you might have heard of if you've stuck around Throne Top Sands when the part you were in Isoto. Um, I'll be running the Casino Dungeon um, in a one shot called Casino Wizard with my guests May 3 Plays Games, Bardic Dice. Um, sorry, I forget the name. Uh, Rachel of Marquee Gaming, um, Nathan Lurs of Reckless Attack, and Cinderblock Sally. And I'll be streaming that at the same time I stream TAS at APM BST. And it's going to be a fun little modular uh, dungeon where like, things change and you guys will have a lot of interaction with that. 
um, which brings me on to another point. I've reduced a lot of the channel interactions for this game, uh, such as the layer actions and the ways you can interact with the stream through channel points, uh, just so that you guys can save your points for tomorrow's stream as well, if you want to. Um, so you can help uh, or hinder the party while um, at a uh, discounted price for the next two streams. Um, yeah so that'll be tomorrow so if you want to keep up to date on that and you aren't already hit the little notification bell uh when you follow and you'll get reminded when we go live um yeah so uh sponsors first sponsor is my coffee i have a coffee up where i put my oh goodness <laughs> thank you for the raid joe dirt hi <laughs> what up hello everyone from uh joe dirt i'm casa dm I stream D and D and R, and currently we're streaming session twenty-one of Throne. Oh, we're gonna start session twenty-one of Throne of Top Sands. How you guys doing? What were you guys doing? What was all the things? I'm just going over our quick uh, over our sponsors um, before we get into things and uh, before we play the intro video and uh, start the session. So yeah, um, there's my coffee, uh, which I. Um, if you enjoy the, uh, the homebrew uh, or the tokens I use on my game, such as the Shabbaton, like this month's are the Shabbaton, the Suiko, the uh, Oni, and the Greater Shabbaton. If you want to ever use any of those in your game, you can uh, grab those at my Kofi. And if you are subscribed uh, to the Twitch, uh, subs gain access to the homebrew stat block. Um, if that is of interest, if you don't care for the tokens, you can sub. If you want both the tokens and the homebrew, you can go grab them on Kofi. Um, next is Bard RPG. You might have seen me work on something um, a while back, and I'm going to be starting working on it again soon. Uh, Bard RPG. It's a genre agnostic um, TTRPG tool designed to help build a collaborative narrative that you can help build or do with your players or your GM. Um, and if that's something that sounds cool and of interest to you, go check out the Kickstarter. It has finished, but I think they were sorting out a page for um, for that very soon so that you can learn more about it and keep up to date with the project. And you'll see me doing art for it because I'm uh, doing all the sci-fi art for that project. And you'll see me, yeah, you'll see me do that on streams. Um, so yeah, go check that project out. It's full of a wonderful group of creators, uh, writers, artists, and just people in this space and is one of the coolest things I've done this year. Uh, second sponsor is Dice Roll UK. Um, we have been sponsored by Dice Roll UK, a um, UK-based um, dice distributor that also do TTRPG accessories. Uh, they create a or they uh, provide a wonderful range of gemstone, metal, and resin dice. And like I've used all um, used the the the, the, the uh, a range of their sets, and they are all stunning and just yeah they're just they're just amazing and they're also very cheap um and so if you're looking for affordable dice of um a wide variety and also grab maybe some accessories such as dice bags or um dice mats and stuff you can uh use the link diceroll.uk slash casadm and help support the stream while grabbing some dice for you gremlin speaking of we're gonna watch gremlins in christmas you should join the discord when we do that or join now so that you can watch it when we do that um, second sponsor is Just Very Mundane. Just Very Mundane is our very own Jacob's podcast, where he and his uh, co-host Saga, they do, they just chat about stuff. They have, they just go over their, they go over a range of life advice, tell stories, and just have a good time. You, if you've followed the stream, you've seen Jacob, you know what he's like. You can only just imagine. If you haven't already, you can imagine how hilarious that'll be. You should go check it out. I should also go check it out because I'm really bad at listening to other things that people send to me. I promise, Jacob, I will listen to it. I promise. And next sponsor is Georgia Mar Jewelry. Uh, our very own Georgia. She produces jewelry. A stunning set of silver pendants, rings, earrings, and necklaces you can find on her Etsy store, which is linked there. And she has a collection right now called the Silver Dragon's Hoard. Based on uh, D and D classes, specifically the dungeon master, the rogue, and the fighter, and you can find those all on her Etsy stores, and you can cop some. Yes, cop is the word. Yes, go go grab some. They're they're stunning. They she 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 does some really cool work. Um, what other sponsors do we have? I haven't put in the Goblin King's uh, command yet, but if I do this, 
um, that link. Don't worry about that one. I, Cause I don't think that has the, in the link tree. Uh, but one sponsor I haven't saw the command for is all hail the Goblin King card game, uh, which is one of Jacob's projects where he is creating a card game, uh, with a bunch of collectible goblin cards. And you'll see a little card on screen on stream, uh, that I'll mention that. And, um, you should go check out the Instagram for that. Cause there's some really cool art for that. And, it's a fun game and like we're gonna probably when he's more when it's at a state where he's ready to produce it we're probably me doing some cool uh streams revolving around the game so keep an ear out for that but yeah um without further ado i'll see you guys in a hot second we're gonna move into the intro and then i will we'll get into things Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. We're just going to go straight into things. Uh, if I do, let me just quickly find the music because <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah. Where is there you are. Um, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Also, hello, Hannah, and also thank you, Sam, for the that little... That was not where I wanted to put that. If I do this... And then... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I am a mess right now. <laughs> it ain't us if we ain't fucking up, right? It's... Yeah, it's a standard. It's fine. <laughs> why isn't it playing? Oh, that's why. <laughs> The music. music. Give me a second. There you are. It should be fine now. Should be. <laughs> Perfect. There it is. I'm just going to turn it off just a smidge. And then I am going to just put... I don't actually need to put any, uh, any of that on because I'm going to do this thing. So yeah, um, Lo, you feel like you've been falling for... An eternity. You've been, you felt your body fall from the sky into the ocean, watching fish swim around you as you just plunge deeper and deeper into the darkness as you start hitting strings. Um, as you, and every time you hit these strings, watching Yuki fall with you, you see, you see visions of the fish swimming, people um, on the beach, you see just various visions of nature we will say of um 
of a different time and a different place. And as you're hitting these strings, you can see this equestrian, equestrian creature, creature with jewels strung over its antlers, um, just leaping off these strings and just watching you uh, fall through its void. And it isn't on its own. There are numerous amount of these creatures surrounding you, but like all very far away. But like you, distance isn't really a thing as you are falling through the void. And as you're falling, you look at Yuki, and you can see Yuki fear in the Kitsune's face as they're plunging um, or falling with you. And you can see them trying to swim through the air, uh, trying to grab onto you in hopes that they can, um, they can, they can, they they can, they can, they can be in in safety as as you're falling. And as they are just within an inch of you, you see Yuki's body get cut in half by one of the strings and as he's as you see him get um get cut in half you see you see uh, his body uh, flicker into fire into two separate um pyres of fire uh that shift from green and purple to orange and uh orange and red as he starts petering away as you start to smell uh, sandalwood and uh, temple incense uh, burning and the smell of sea salt as you feel your body hit the ground, but you're standing upright. As I am going to move you to your mind temple. If I just do this and zoom over here and give me a second as I'm gonna just put some sound effects. As you, like you, you recognize this place. Obviously, it's your your mind temple takes on the vis the visage of your your childhood home, the temple you grew up at, Kyoki uh, Kyokai Rei uh, Temple. Um, give me a second. Yeah, you 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 see yourself around around uh, your home. And as you are just looking around you, you feel the ground quaking just ever so slightly, rumbling like your heartbeat every now and then, just shaking the ground and your core as you also hear countless crows cawing all around you. As you look around the temple over the Tory gates, on the statues of the uh, the four Shio, on the trees, and over at the pagoda, you can see cr hundreds of crows just flocking and perching themselves onto these uh, various um, platforms, just watching you. As I, if I can find my other things. Yeah, you can just see they watch every like movement you make they watch you very curiously and as you're looking around you can see a child that looks no older than you just leaping on the stepping stones at the pond and struggling to gain their balance as they're leaping up and down um not up and down sorry leaping between the stepping stones um, but that doesn't, um, that isn't the first thing that, like, bothers you, I will say. It's what? Not it's thing. not the first thing. <laughs> the, the main thing is, you know, it's the statues of Pimera, Rocky, uh, and Lo-Fi Boy, and Lucera that were on, at the north of the pond, they're not there anymore. Instead are th uh, the statues of Katsumi, Kira, and Kiko. With, um, made completely of stone, but they're cracked and crumbling in little places. But other than, like, the damage that, like, is from just, like, um, just these cracks, they look generally in very good condition. But you can see their chains and the jewelry on their bodies are 
crystal and a glowing green and as you are like you as you like just look over the statues you can see uh the candles that are flickering uh, at their base all lit but you can see kira's candle specifically they uh flicker green and glitch every now and then and shift white and when you look to the south statue you see time with his kamainu um not his kamainu sorry his uh shiba, in, uh, shiba inu um what was it called? what were they called cheeky that was it i forgot for a second <laughs> you'll um you'll see uh, you see um see them too and like as like you look closer at the statues you can see time is also cracked and in those cracks you see green mist slowly seeping outwards and when you look at um yeah you see green mist seeping out and yeah other than that you can see this child struggling to keep their balance as they leap between the stepping stones if I find the thing. Yeah, and you, you see this male presenting child that looks roughly the same age as you in a shrine maiden's outfit, dancing and trying to keep their balance as they're moving across the skipping stones and just humming um, the melody uh, the melody that you had performed at the funeral right on the beach moments ago. Okay. <laughs> It's a lot to take in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess she's just gonna, in a little bit of a daze, just like after looking around and taking it all in, just wander up to the edge of the the pond. Um, and just be like, um, excuse me. As you make your way to the pond, you they turn around. And you look like you're looking in a mirror for a second. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out for a second and put something on the stream. And I'll put it in chat for you for a second as well. Uh, if I just change this. Yeah, you, um, this person, when you they look at you, you see almost identical to your, sorry, I just banged my desk. Almost identical to your... <laughs> Your face, um, your face under the mask, um, but instead of like um, normal human eyes, you can see uh, the uh, the whites are blacked out, and their pupils or their eyeballs are the night sky, and a third eye over um, placed in the in the in the middle of their forehead also has is like that of the night sky with hair that looks like fire turned form just floating ethereally wafting up and down in the air as the sea um, as a sea breeze wafts at it and you can see they have it tied back making nine bunches of tails uh, behind the hair that also float upwards and outwards as they're just skipping and uh, skipping and jumping up and they turn Hello, my Kai. They say to you. As you hear Yuki's voice come from the child. She's like, Yuki? And she's just gonna, like, start running up up the, pond, up the side of the pond to get closer. Mm -hmm. Could you roll for me a perception check? As I'm going to change the heads on the stream. Oh no! <laughs> What'd you get? I got ten. Oh, oh ten. <laughs> Wonderful. You... you don't see much, but um... I mean, like... <laughs> You are just here. Yeah, you're just constantly just watching them leap from the the stones. 
and every now and then they like wobble and teeter and like as you like look them head to toe you can see like their shoelaces aren't done but they're wearing <laughs> sneakers uh like that of um kira kiko and katsumi um And as like they're just struggling to keep their their balance, you notice also like Yuki's lips are pursed like that of a cat, um, instead of a normal uh, set of lips. And um, yeah, these legs are weird. Uh, the balance it feels very wrong. I just can't seem to get it to adjust because my my tails they're up on my neck, and as you, <laughs> as, as they touch at their hair and show. Uh, them just sort of waft in the air. Uh, you, you, you're okay! <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? Well, we just fell through, through the the weave and, and the world and you, you split in half and now we're here and why are we here? And <laughs> they leap off onto, onto the ground um, next to you. Um, they look around. They look up. I don't know. And, and there's crows everywhere, and, and the statues are, are different, and you're a, a yeah, person? That's a, that's a good point, yes. <laughs> Very good point. It does look different than the last time we were here, as they look around. <laughs> they weren't there, pointing at uh, the statues of the sisters. Um, that one looked a bit different, uh, pointing to the one over the one of time. Are these yeah these birds yeah no yeah actually speaking of do you, you wouldn't know an old Atani do you like they keep they keep asking me if I know an old Atani fellow I keep telling them I don't know an old Atani fellow <laughs> but like they, they just keep telling me and like you wouldn't know would you who keeps telling you then point at the bird uh, at the pond uh, by the pond but that one too and point at the this one on the Tory gate uh, I I I don't, but I I saw a big red dragon, and I remember old Altani wants to meet me, but I don't know who that is. Do I know who that is? <laughs> you can roll a religion or history check for me. Uh... Also, I just want to note, chat, sorry, I know that there seems to be a lot happening in chat. <laughs> I want. I'm sadly not. Um, we're not like able to keep up to uh, up with chat uh, because we're playing. But uh, we will do our darndest to look every now and then. And uh, yeah, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying what's happening. Yes, yeah, so continue. You got eighteen. I got eighteen. Yes, you do know a bit about Ot Otani. Um, so you've you've learned that like sometimes ancient spirits will become powerful and take a form and become or take form that like becomes a lesser kami of a area and um you've read of like old otani being the spirit of uh, the forest uh, before well, and that surrounds o uh, otani village um on the west coast of uh kasakawa island Yeah, you know you you know of old Otani. Um, okay. As you're also recalling um, old Otani, you looking behind. Um, interesting. I fucked up with the map. <laughs> <laughs> looking behind um, Yuki, you can see. Um, you can see. Um, the silhouettes of um, the crystal gods of the crystal samurai prowling and searching through the trees and you can see like the moonlight glinting off of their uh, the green crystals on their bodies as they just keep searching and scouring and like as they're shifting and looking their forms take that of a lion silhouette and you can hear its heavy mechanical footsteps just Give me a second. Never mind. I didn't have the, the sound effect I wanted. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> hear the heavy mechanical footsteps of this uh, beast 
um, prowl through um, through the trees, and um, and as like it's shifting and searching, you see it shift once more into the basket hag, and it tries to push through the trees, and reaching out for you, but it can't seem to get through. And as that's happening, you can see Yuki just ha- exclaims and it jumps at the sight of the basket hag trying to trying to peek through um uh peek through the um the basket uh through the the forests you wouldn't know what that is do you either is that old otani uh, that's not that's that's old otani surely birds there's old otani pointing (laughs) so that's the 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 basket hag basket Uh, who's it uh well she tried to capture she's gonna to gesture to one of the statues. <laughs> uh tried to capture my friend Giko. Um and the one, the little light. one but like the, the small one. Yes. You know, the small. Um but keeps like judging uh, against his own height. With their own height trying to make sure that they're smaller than them. You know, like some children uh I see. Of, um obviously yeah. Um I old Altani is a spirit of the forest, but if we're supposed to meet him, I don't know how to leave this area, especially when there's oh. all sorts of things in the woods. Yes, solid point. I just remembered another thing. Uh, someone did just actually before you got here. Um, someone just said to me or uh, something. Uh, there were some people. Uh, they came through. Uh, they went in uh, into the pagoda. Uh, they said uh, they're ready when you are to go through. Uh, they just got to sort some paperwork out um, before everything's ready. They didn't say what. Like I kept asking, they w- they wouldn't tell me, Lonika. I I tried. I you 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 know me. I would I would never let you go meet some suspicious random stranger who's telling you that you have a meeting until I have at least some idea of ideas of their credentials. But they wouldn't give me nothing, Lonika. None. All this paperwork, but nothing to prove who they are. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm glad too. Thank you. Oh, also, yes, I'm also concerned about you. I'm glad you're you're, you're doing good. As he goes to pat you on the head. <laughs> yes, you're 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 in tip-top condition right now. Oh, I I hope so. I, I suppose we should go in then. Yes. As they keep trying to balance, and like they, you know, every now and then, like they str- <laughs> they struggle to walk. They're like, like, like they waddle as they're like um, trying to get their rest. Oh, these legs. Can I offer my hand to like help them balance? <laughs> Yuki goes to hook uh, uh, under your arm, and then starts walking with you. Ah, yes, this is better. I see. This is why you humans do this, and how uh, that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> come. As the crow, as you are, sorry, I'm just like zooming at the map, and I keep like just like flying everywhere. As you are like um, making your way up the cobbled step stones and um, passing through the Tory gates, you hear the crows constantly call at you, and you just hear them. Old Otani sent us. Old Otani sent us. Come, come. We're going, we're going. And as you are like just stepping around here, you get like home is very much just constantly on your mind as you are walking through these gates and stepping up to the pagoda. And you recall um, the uh, the message old Otani sent you and um, your parents calling calling for you could i ask um when like low nico gets to have a chance to think on that how how does she take hearing her parents voices again and asking her to go to where old old, old Atani is um she's very surprised <laughs> about it um and she's almost not sure what to think um there's 
probably a small part of her that's concerned <laughs> that something's happened to them. Um, but she's also in like, I, I can't find out right now, so I've just got to keep going and doing whatever's happening here. <laughs> so she's like, uh, this is fine. <laughs> As you are thinking, you see the skies turn to that of um, thunderclouds. As you can, you just see them begin to start thundering. And as you are just about to step through the gate, you see that those red lightning surges once again. And that giant red worm coil around the clouds and just fly around and just looks to be searching for something as it's flying through the air but before you get to think much about it yuki pushes the door open and as yuki pushes the door open you feel your body fall in and land into the reception of the um adventurer's roots uh, of the isotope branch of the adventurer's route. So I'm just going to move us over to the world map for a second because I haven't got a map for this. Um, yeah, you you fall in. Yeah, you fall into the reception of the uh, isotope adventures route, but everything is slightly uncanny in that, like, there's you don't notice any of the guild emblems around you. Um, Instead, as you're looking around, I'm going to change the sound effects because you aren't hearing the ocean. Instead of the, um, instead of the, the what's it called? Like the adventurers, uh, insignias and markings all around you and like just these motifs of adventurers, you see, um, various wood carvings in the walls of the, of the guild, um, of people just doing their day-to-day -day activities in like various states almost like that of a ukiyo-e uh print before it is pressed um and yeah like they, they make up a bunch of stories and you can hear disembodied voices coming from balls of fire that are lining up um towards the, the reception desk and this line goes all the way up the stairs uh, and you can see some of these balls of fire are very colors similar to the ones you had um sent off uh during the funeral right uh, pointing at the carvings and you just hear them mentioning oh this is what i was doing and this was when my daughter was born and like they're just recounting their life and using these ukiyo-e um carvings as reference uh to um to their past life um give me a second um and like, as like you're like going uh, to the front, as you're, like you're looking around, you can see um, this more like a solid form of a person uh, looks uh, looking like an elf, but um, you can see they wisp off like fire every now and then as uh, they wear a very official suit um, of like traditional um, uh, Shreleon clothing as they sit behind the desk and just... Um, have piles of paperwork all around them as they are just like sorting and organizing them and just checking off and writing things as they let one spirit pass through to the uh, the room that would normally lead to the uh the common room of the guild um and as they're like filing paperwork and calling in the next you they notice you ah excellent you're the shaman app apprentice of lee hero uni yes uh, yes, yes, Excellent. that's come me. Here, come, come here, child. Uh, we've been told to expect you. Uh, Hakar Shai actually was saying that uh, he had cited you and said that you you were you were going to be uh, appearing today. So perfect. This is just the right time. It's been a mess at the office with the Kasakau explosion, with all these deaths, a mighty mess. We didn't we didn't we didn't expect that we'd need this much paperwork. So we had to like there was the printer broke. Everything was awry. Um, but yes, perfect. You are here. You're you can you can help guide the next batch uh, down the Hiroma Gate. You, you that's that's okay with you? Yes. Uh, yes. Um... Good, because you do not have a choice, honestly, with the situation. Okay. Uh, 
I mean, it's you. You you wanted to be a shaman. This is this is part of your right. This is, I. It's not it's not my choice. You're gonna have to go speak to one of the higher ups. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I just file paperwork. Next, please. Oh, and which way do I I oh, go? Oh, you just wait here. I'll well, I'll I'll pass you oh. the next batch. All right, next. So I am going to do put a uh, little face on screen. <laughs> a little face. A little face. Next, green fellow, uh, please come forward. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, name. Oh. Uh, uh. Where am I? You are. Uh. Well, you aren't in other world just yet. You're just at the uh, the reception. Uh. Making your way down to. The Haroma. You'll you'll be heading down the Lashan Sora. Uh, uh, do you, are you aware of the the situation? Would you would you? I, I can explain it to you if you would like. I sort of just look around, like I look behind me. You just see a line of white, a ball, like various coloured balls of fire, go uh, trailing behind you and going up uh, steps in this reception room. As as you are doing that, the the uh, the the um. The, um the office worker turns to Loni because this happens all the time. Some people don't understand. This is n n none of us. None of them are like us, where they they, they, they don't learn about the, the funeral rites and such. Luckily, you you'll you'll be here to help guide them through through the situation. Um, so yes, uh, what was your name again? Sorry. Uh, Kano. Kano. Yes, perfect. Well, Kano. Uh, what happens is when um when you when you pass on. Uh, you you are going to be making your way down the Lush and Sora towards the Haroma, uh, which will be the gate onto the afterworld. You'll you'll be you'll be t you'll be making your way down to um. You'll be ma making your way to let's say um, paradise. Paradise is paradise gets them. You turn to like paradise always gets them. Say it's paradise. Um. And then. As as they do it. yes. So you'll be going down the Lash and Sora. You you may you may not know who uh, the eight headed dragon uh, you, uh, of of legend. Do, do, does that ring a bell? Holder of the sky, carrier of heaven. Am I dead? Yes, yes, you are dead. You'll be heading to the other world now, but like once we sort this out. I don't know the eight headed dragon. I I. No. Not to worry. It's it, generally you won't. It's not something to fuss about. Honestly, it's uh, the Lashan Sword doesn't tend to tend to come down from the sky, being carrying the sky. Um, so yes, but you'll be you'll be trailing down the, their back, um, going towards the whirlpool at the center of Shireleo. It uh, pulls out a map of the continent and points to the center. You see this? This is the Haroma, the whirlpool. It will take you to death. I mean, well, not death, you're already dead. Uh, and they chuckle. Um, but they'll take you through this, and you're going to go through a door, and then you're going to go, and that'll be your, 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 you'll, be, you'll be resting in peace. I look down on my hands. You see your solid gold fists. But my face just drops, or sort of sad. Okay. Do I need to sign anything? Oh no, you just need I I I we we just need to we just need to check a few things. Um uh cause of death. Uh it's gold solidification. Gold solidification. Quite a few of those happened recently. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Not to worry. Okay, if you just wait here, uh next to this little girl, um I just like awkwardly walk over. <laughs> Lou's uh, probably been standing like really like straight with like her hands clasped in front of her <laughs> like she's like what am I doing? <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, hello, um, Mr. Kano, was it? Yes. Who are you? Uh, my name's Loniko, and she just do a little bow. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Are you also dead? Oh, uh, no, I'm I'm a shaman. It's my duty to help guide souls along the Lash and Soul. Although this is my first time doing that here. But... As, as you are standing next to her, Kano, by the way, 
you see she exudes fire she like surrounding her is just like this aura that burns furiously um and like while here you can't really sense like you can't smell you don't feel the ground below you uh you can just about hear and uh see uh everything through like the mistiness of like the uh the area around you but when you stand next to her and in her fire you feel the ground you feel uh the world around you um and you can see next to her is a child that looks very much similar to her and just waves at you and is just a lot more relaxed and a lot more just like just curious as they're looking around <laughs> still trying to catch their balance um i like as they wave i just like sort of like awkwardly wave back as well and as you as you guys are doing that, like you um, you see the, the 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 office worker go through the same presentation three times that they did with you, Kana, and then mm -hmm. called once more. Next. Um. Hello. Give me a minute, madam. Um. Yes. Uh, name, please. Moran Sato. Perfect. And um. Welcome to the uh, welcome to uh, the the next step of uh, going to other world. Uh, do you understand the process? I do. Thank you. Perfect. Next, um, could I uh, could I get a cause of death, please? Um, oh. I mean, I was stabbed. If that helps. Stabbed? No, nope, that's perfect. That's all we need. Um, yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> thank you. All right. Uh, if you just stand next to uh, those uh, uh, four spirits there, and uh, Miss, um, and the uh, the shaman girl, and uh, the, the fox boy, uh, well, um, we'll get on to the next step very soon once we once we pull a few more uh, spirits in. Oh! And she runs over uh, to Kano. Right? And uh, yeah, she's she's just gonna sprint straight into you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> 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 yeah, she crashes into you. Just get spooked from Moran's just like sudden excitement. Hi. Hi. What happened? I'm seeing you a little bit sooner than I should have, I guess. But um. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. I see you're still lugging these around, and she sort of pats him on the gold arm. I was. Expecting them to be gone, yeah. Well, it's a bummer, but when? Uh, who are your friends? Uh, th this is Lo Nico, and the She's little one I don't think I got. The other oh. little one I don't don't think I got a name. My my name's Yuki. I am uh, Lo Nico's spirit guide. Uh, as you see them pull out a monocle and pop it on their face. Mm, very official. Oh. Yes, I am. She uh, she bows to Yuki. I yes, we are. And high. bows to Lo Nico. So you're a shaman then? I uh, yes, Miss. Um, I am. My name's Naran. It's nice to meet you, Lo Nico. Uh, it's nice to meet you too. Uh, despite the circumstances, I'm glad there is some familiarity here, at least for you. When you guys are standing in her fire, you can smell the beach, um, as like you're saying, like Kano, you feel under, at the heart of the gold, you can feel your hands get clammy and you can feel, you can feel your, your fists sweating from all the weight of the gold. And as like you're, as you gain that, that, uh, that feeling, um, you guys can smell Rocky and Randall coming off the fire. Uh, that is Lonely Co right now. I look at Kano, and then I look back at Lonely Co, and then I look at Kano again, and I just like sort Grim's of raise an eyebrow. Is everything alright? Too. Moran, do you know what happened after? Did did they make it? I don't know. Um, things kind of got wrapped up for me <laughs> before it all ended. 
I know the feeling. Um, Lonico, this might be asking a lot, but do you know what happened, um, in at at Kasakawa Factory? I don't know how long it's been. Well, I saw the mountain explode. Um, and Ex- explode. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. um, there's, there's sort of just a, a hole there now. Um, I was on a boat on my way here with a friend of mine, and we actually, well, we were on our way to find an old friend that we had lost. Um, and we did. We found him. Uh, he was with someone else. A, a dragonborn? Um, yeah, he was a dragonborn. I actually, Yuki says, very matter of fact. Okay, I actually just no way. finished. I just hmm? smile. Moran um, leans down. Uh, your friend's name wouldn't happen to be uh, Rocky, would it? Yes. Yes, that's, that's him. We were looking for him. And, and we found him on the beach with uh, Randall. That was his name, yes. <laughs> oh, Kano, okay, they made it. They made it. Oh, I'm so, Lisa, was it for I'm so relieved. I just sort of, I almost like sit down. Almost relax for a second. As you begin to relax, you feel your hands growing lighter. I try to clench my fist. You can feel your fingers. Just barely. They're very numb, but you can just feel them trying to flex from under all the way to the gold. I look up at Lonico. Is I I don't know if you can. Is there anything you could help me with this? I this isn't how I want to be. Can she just kind of uh, put her hands on the gold and like I don't know, try and see if there's anything she can do. Mm-hmm. When you when you go to to try it and like just see if there's anything you could do regarding regarding hands, you um your fires what not warp but they wrap around you and converge where you touch Kano and Kano look as you are like um as you feel this heat just erupt on your hands it's similar to when Sanyi had cast heat metal on your on your fists but instead of feeling tormented in that moment you feel comfort as you feel you see the gold begin to just turn into golden fire as it just kind of evaporates very slowly but it does it is falling off of your hands and your arms and you can see yuki is just shook when this is happening but is but is like smiling very happy you see the uh see them go to wipe three tears off their three eyes that's my girl (laughs) (laughs) thank you hi like a literal weight has been taken off I have a feeling I should be the one thanking both of you. Are they okay? They're physically okay. Uh, Before I came here, we had just finished performing funeral rites. And uh, they did not tell us really anything about what happened, but I hope at least that it gave them some peace of mind. But they are okay. Well, as you... As long as they're in one piece, I'm sure they'll be fine. (laughs) 
up there in one piece. As you're, um, as you're like, you're discussing this, Lo, you realize that like some of the uh, origami people that Rocky and Randall had made resemble uh, these mm. two. Um, and you feel like um, you see you see the the office uh, official um, just continue passing on spirits. You and you guys have about like twelve spirits circle uh, balls of fire circling around you. As you see one of them goes to wipe um, and then goes to like uh, grab a glass of water just on the side. You see them spill the water out. And as it like hits their body, it evaporates and then just swirls around you low, giving you a chat inspiration from Rovel. Um, yeah. And as they pass one last spirit to you, um, Shaman Girl. Uh, what was your name again, sorry? Uh, Loniko, Loniko, sir. you apprentice of Lee Hero, uh, you need Kasakawa Island, um, Hakushai, uh, hmm. Okay, I think that's, that's, that's all on my, all, 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 everything sorted on my end. Um, if you're ready to go, you, you can just step through that door and you'll, you'll be making your way down the river. And they smile at you. Okay, uh, thank you. And she's just gonna do a bell. <laughs> I guess count how many are with her because she's like, I don't want to lose people. <laughs> you can see us here in total. Thirteen. Oh, uh, is that an unlucky you. number? Not including you guys. Not here. If you, if you were to worry about it, I think you guys technically are part of your seventeen. As like you you are. Um, as you look, you're getting adjusted to your hands again. Yuki goes up to you, Kano, and then clasps your hands. Yes. Yes. That's... I was expecting a metal clang, honestly. Why? Oh. Oh, because you, you hold hands. Yes. Yeah. It's... I, I, I sort of, like, grab her arms and, like, flex my fingers and, like, they pull on her cheeks a little bit. <laughs> Yuki <laughs> jumps back a bit. Hey. Sorry. Sorry, not my cheeks. You want you want to be grabbing Lonico's cheeks, but she's got her mask, so like, don't don't pull it away. Kino, don't tease them. I'm sorry. Yes, don't tease us. Yuki stands up very proudly, but like walks, <laughs> war, walks behind Moran to protect themselves. What's the what's the, like the is it like a bad other world or is it who you asking specifically? Uh, just in general. Well, I'm from where here. we go. So you're, you're, and I turned out so fine. Like, oh. Spinning on. <laughs> so if I, if I do tease you too much, do I go to like a bad place? Oh yes, or? yes, you go to the worst place imaginable. Oh, I'm kind of okay. Going up here. I put, I put my hands up and just putting the monocle Kino. back away. <laughs> okay, now um, let's be very let's be nice to our guides. Yuki, don't tease them. I put my arm around Moran. Yuki just looks at you she, smile, Yuko. She is very happy. I gotta change my emoji. <laughs> <laughs> blush. We're getting we're getting uwu, perhaps even uwu blush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, <laughs> as a treat. Um When you saw Rocky and Randall, you didn't happen to see an elf with them, did you? I'm afraid they were the only two we found. I see. Roll... Moran looks back at the line. Roll insight. Because you can't see Got any it. specific faces. You just see these uh, balls of fire. Like, every now and then they'll shift and take assuming faces. Uh, Lo, if you could roll me an insight check while you do this as well. Um, mm -hmm. They take, like, yeah, like their faces just shift between various animal figures, but they don't take any tangible form. And like, as like you're looking over the spirits, even the ones surrounding you guys, none of them really know why they're here, and they all just seem very confused and just scared. And like they can't seem to take on any like like Moran and Kano in in these in their forms who gave off very solid, tangible emotions, but these um these balls of fire just seem almost like they're like they're very they're almost, they're very unsure of their feelings in this moment and just confused like almost as if like. You can almost get the sense that, like, you can feel 
their thoughts and like they like the thoughts of them dreaming and um as lo uh moran you're looking you feel you can you can see up on the staircase um like as you like search the line you you can't like you you can sense the recognizable aura of uh Taya further along the staircase but you can't it's not it's almost clouded by all the other feelings around you Moran isn't going to go look for her but under her breath I think she's going to whisper a quick prayer for Taya that she ends up where she needs to be As you finish your prayer, Yuki also starts praying with you. Um, and you guys are almost like pushed out the door by the spirit guard. Make space now for the next batch, please. Uh, you guys, you you don't you don't need to come back for it like this. You just need to do the one trip. Uh, little girl. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, sir. No, no, no. It's fine. It's it's it's, it's your first time here. It's like. It's, it's it's okay. Like this happens all the time. I mean, even 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 big fella over here is his first time here, and all the other ones are like didn't know what's up. First time here, so it's I'm I'm used to, I'm used to I'm used to showing people the ropes. I'm kind of a, a big guy here. As I go back to the paperwork <laughs> after after <laughs> nudging you guys out. And um, just Marin, very, very peacefully, very almost like weirdly cheerfully for the situation, uh, looks down at Lonico. Well, what do you say, Shaman? Shall we uh, get going on our field trip? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, follow me, everyone. She just walk out the door. <laughs> As you. <laughs> A line forms out of all the other spirits. And you can just like checking. <laughs> yep, no, no, stay in line. In, in. Nope, you smidge to the left, please. Line. And then goes to the back of the line. You feel your bodies pushed out through the door as you cross the threshold. And you feel your body kind of flip as you hear the uh, office worker, uh, um, the, sp uh, the receptionist. Hey, wait, come back. No. As you hear the door shut behind you. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. And you feel Can your bodies. You feel your bodies hit. Uh, you don't. They. It doesn't seem like they were calling out to you guys. You feel oh. your bodies hit the uh, the ground on a wooden platform. What? As I'm gonna just zoom <laughs> out. Just give me a second. Yeah, as you that map is massive. It's fucking. Oh my god! <laughs> is this who I think it is? Thank you, AJ, <laughs> for <laughs> thank you, AJ, for the uh, the resub as well. Your beam. Um. Yes. If as you are uh, as you like fall or not fall, but like land onto the platform and take a solid sense. Um. Looking around you, low you or looking around all of you guys, none of you feel like you recognize the place. Actually, Kano, roll me a history check. Or me? Nature, yes, Kano, or history or nature. <laughs> check. You. Okay. If anyone will recognize this place, it will be it be you. No one. History else. or nature. Let's see which one's better. Oh, they're both shit. A. Fourteen. Nice. You. The the trees and like the scenery, the rough kind of terrain, and like the mountain up ahead and like the forest up ahead, you can kind of get a bearing of where you are. And like you, like as as someone who is from the Hasumai family, which is centered at Nagahara City, um, you've been around the uh, the, the countryside surrounding uh, the Shigawa Reishibu, which. Is what you can assume where you are. The the not the Shigawa Reishibu, sorry. Yeah, no, Shigawa uh, uh, Lashan, which is the uh, Shigawa River. Um, you you can assume. Is that on the material plane? 
I'll get to that. Oh. <laughs> but you, you can, you feel, you feel familiar when you, when you, when you, when you, um, when you look around you and like get your bearings, and you hear Yuki also mutter uh, to you, Longika, as you're like looking around at like the, um, as you are at the center of this wide river. Um, you can see like uh, these like um, like in this like almost in a valley. As like you see like inclined uh, hills and like just uh, rocky hillside terrain um, on the sides of the river uh, with varying ranges of uh, autumn trees blooming and flowering as you can get this waft of the summer fruit trees just almost like you feel it on like the tip of your nose but like every time like you try to like familiarize yourself with the smell it's gone and like as you start like trying like realizing that you can't smell uh around you 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 realize you can't hear the river either and like as the barge is rocking up and down you don't feel the uneasy platform that you are standing on oh my god i've got death <laughs> you can hear each other but you just can't seem to hear around you, and you guys know um canon moran you see the fire that was around lonely Co is gone um, looking up ahead, dead, maybe. <laughs> hey, Kaz, just a real quick heads up. Uh, uh, I do have zero HP. I'm not sure if, if you. <laughs> oh God, she's dead. Could you click long rest for me, and it should fix me. Yes, I'll find that hey, right hey now. Is here. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Can I like? Do I have my shamisen with me? You do. When you touch your shamisen and feel the pick. That you you can sense that and feel the music being made and the vibrations of that when you when you're like just quickly just checking the strings, but the surrounding world around you feels non-existent. As like you feel daunted by the length like of of the river up ahead, as you like feel like going on for miles, it is just the same kind of general terrain as you can see up ahead the base of a forest and a grand mountain that cuts through the sky as uh, yuki mutters beside you uh, that's the shigawa reishibu uh, putting on their monocle one of the largest if not the largest mountain in Shreleo. um as uh, you can see just spectral mist surrounding um the area around you guys as you can see, as like it begins to get foggy and cloudy as um, the moonlight illuminates the world around you. Um, yeah. And as you are on the barge, you can see crawling out of the... Um, give me a second, I'm just going to change the music. Crawling out of the... Um, from hidden crevices on the, the platforms of uh, land around you guys and the trees, you can see Yokai. Yokai eyes staring at you and just like watching you as you guys are slowly floating down the river. And would anyone like to look over the edge? Sure. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I am just stupid enough to do that. Roll perception for me. Perception. I'm not hey. perceiving shit. <laughs> also, uh, I did hit long something. rest. It's still showing on my token as zero out of fifty-four. Not sure. Uh, it's it fifty-four may, for me. Uh, yeah, it, it's fifty-four for me. It oh, has lovely. a habit of not. Uh, resetting for certain people. You know okay, what? Uh, should you know I what reload, or is that gonna break? It might reload. If you reload, it should work for you. Did you say foundry? Sorry, Sam. Uh, <laughs> AJ, yeah. I can't do that. I am affiliated. <laughs> oh yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, jokes aside. No, no, uh, jokes aside. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Low, can you also roll me an insight check as well? As you guys are looking over the edge. <laughs> you... 
you still see the unassuming balls of fire in most of the spirits. Some have taken on vague humanoid shapes. Um, and like you can you you can you can you can see like some of them um, like discussing uh, as like you're getting feelings of like loss and confusion waving off of most of them. You can hear some of them mutter to themselves like uh, questioning each other like how they got here and stuff. And some like you hear them mention that some of them were sleeping, some were eating, some of them were in the gym, and some were hiking. Um, and also a few of them were like one of them was running away from yokai. Uh, in the in in the prison hallways, um, is your... my boy Savage Genasi? You do nope. notice a sun tattoo on them <laughs> as they're just Can't discussing. Can't rewriting some stuff. <laughs> I actually want to just put it just for the record. Feral Genasi was intended to be here. I have it is in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, God, he's here. I feel safe. <laughs> you just see him give you a thumbs up. Yeah. No, he's like, <laughs> as I recognize you as well, Kano. I give him a thumbs up as well, because I can do that. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't got uh, non gold fist tokens. I sadly didn't have time to finish. Um, unforgivable. I know. Right? <laughs> um, but yeah. What did you let's see? What you got with your your perceptions? 15, 7, and uh, 7. I'm not sorry. Well, Moran and. Who got 15? Was like, you, Kano? Me. God dang. I was spending a lot together, 15. Not to worry. Yeah. Are you two, <laughs> Moran and. <laughs> Moran and. Um, God. <laughs> Low. And Low. Yes, that's the one I it's didn't me. forget. <laughs> you can see. Like, you looking down into the water, you can see coral. Um, you can see coral uh, growing under under a uh, deep in the water uh, below the waters and the faintest vague of red metallic scale and blue scales glistening at the bottom with the coral growing into some of the scales kano however while you're watching and see the as you guys feel or see the barge quake as you see the scales ruffle and kind of like um uplift almost Kano you can see underneath some of them on like in like uh, underneath some of the scales eyes like <laughs> targets looking up at you I'm like and busy like watching my face and I'm about to like drink some of the water and I see that uh, <laughs> growing uh... from underneath <laughs> these scales um, as you hear as you guys are looking at what you hear and sees oh yeah you you hear some some objects shift as some of the yokai drop into the water and make oh. their way towards you oh please don't go too close to the edge it's those are suiko old. those are territorial <laughs> yokai <laughs> <laughs> just like kano you can also gain some information about the yokai by pledging to my kofi so <laughs> <laughs> Um, I reach for my bow. Is it there? It is. Nice. As Take all the spirits back. follow Low Nico's advice and go to the center, and Yuki also joins them. <laughs> oh, I'll behave. And Kano, as like you uh, were like just lift yourself up from the water, you get a splash, um, just like wash over your hands for a second. And you feel inspired. Oh. You now have an inspiration. Oh, thank from you. From Rofal as well. If I... Give me a second. Um, but yeah, you see the yokai begin to start making their way towards the... Um, towards the water. As you see, uh, Yuki is beginning to start cry, crying. Oh, God. Brad, get behind me. In fear. Hiding behind Lonika as they start making their way. Um, Yuki, I thought you were my guide. Yes. <laughs> if no, you're scared, well, am I supposed I to didn't, No, 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 you misheard me. I said I was your your guy, as in, like, I was your friend. Nah. <laughs> dude. Yeah. Lonika, Yuki. Pal. Don't worry. 
you're on the raft with the right two people. And she's gonna draw her bow. Just like old times, Kano? I guess so. Roll initiative, please. Oh. We're not doing popcorn? You got it. Would you like to do popcorn? Because I know you didn't Joe. like it. That's why I, I did. I was like, it's mm. entirely up to Georgia. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't mind either way. I think for this, we're going to keep it in normal initiative. Because I have. I didn't. I, I, I could see the benefits of it. I, but I think I prefer the other way, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. No, that's fair. Like, it's all preference. So, how. All right, this encounter is going to be very in, uh, different to normal encounters. Um. The yokai, like the barge will be moving uh, 20 feet every round, or 30 feet every round, I think, actually. Um, and as it's moving, you may notice uh, it grow lighter of spirits as some of them are being called by the yokai songs. As they, you hear them begin to all start making a strange howling, gibbering, and jittering, glitchy, distorted noise, all yeah. in various pitches and shifts, just draw in pointing at the barge and kano moran could you both roll me also a wisdom save can i try and play louder <laughs> you can save. roll a charisma <laughs> check please and yeah. just straight charisma actually you don't even need to mm, yes yeah, straight oh, oh. <laughs> yes, son. okay with oh a God. shock of noise and music you your hearing is completely you push all other noise out with your music as um, all these spirits around you like look to almost be ready to step. They stop in their place and just focus and follow your instructions. I told them, Lonika, I told them to stay, I swear. <laughs> Not today, I see Yuki also was about Sit to down. <laughs> I'm sitting. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get them to roll their initiatives in a second. Just give me a s I just need to pull up all the sheets because it's a lot of sheets. Oh, no. Just do like one initiative for all of them. I would if they were all like the same thing. Oh, they're all yokai. Oh, never mind. They're all various types, yeah. <laughs> oh, brother. Just to make it in interesting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Your screen is just <laughs> full of sheets. Can, yeah, can you see it? Like, it, it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, didn't mean to do that. Yo, Sam, is Sam fucking sending us a? Oh no, that's Kofi. Never mind. Uh, oh. I thought he was, thought he was gonna like. It's uh, gonna. <laughs> I don't know the word. I lost to, the word. Try to do something. Uh, he's um, gonna try to. He was trying to do that thing. The, 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 lost the word. It'd be like that. So yeah, with how this works, it's gonna be moving like that and. Uh, just for chat to know, layer actions are now available. <laughs> so you guys are, and they are cheaper than normal. I will know. Moran, oh. you are first. Oh. Thank you. I, uh, I would like to repeat Lonica's what music. AJ said and say, oh, brother. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, I should also uh, add your sheets to the uh, handout card on the overlay. This Suiko is the nearest yokai, right? Yeah, that one's uh, plunged into the water. All right, uh, I'm gonna shoot it. Go ahead. I assume that hits. Give me a second. What, what do you get? 22. 22 hits. 11 piercing damage. And then she's going to use her second attack and shoot it again. It's a 21. That hits. I will note that like the first hit killed the Suiko already. Oh, did it kill it? The first <laughs> yeah, that, hit? That, that, that Suiko, as soon as it like flies through the water and hit, like, you see it pierce straight yeah. through and plunge into one of the scales, causing that area of scale to shift and reveal hundreds of yokai eyes looking back at you from underneath them as the suiko just peters out into um white fire 
Oh, wow. Um, in that case, uh, would I be able to possibly use my second shot on this guy? You can, yes. Alright. Uh, does the 21 still hit? The 21 does hit. And, like, as, like, you... Going back to your, the first arrow, when it popped through the water, or pierced through the water, you see a spirit lift out of the water and fly towards you and swirling around you it gives you inspiration thank you um i believe that's all i'm going to do oh i know you also moran is going to try to <laughs> get wrecked <laughs> yeah, you um, see the spy yoko just like completely just like crumple in on itself as it erupts into fire moran pulls on a connection that she has had for the months since Hanako's death, where she has always been one call away and attempts to summon her echo and fails. And surprise very briefly crosses her face, but she has to focus. That's my turn. It is the Oni's turn. As you see it shift and jitter as it starts making its way towards. And you see just run and try to leap onto the barge. If it wants to roll 13. You see it just, just get onto the edge, causing the barge to kind of flip upwards, causing you all to kind of like shake uh, for a second as it lands. And you see all its eyes just spread to and slow searching for each one of you. But it isn't going to do anything else. Lower is your turn. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give a bardic inspiration to uh, Kano. Mm -hmm. uh, before I forget. Um, Thank you. And then. I'm going to go up and I'm just I'm going to do thunder wave. I'm gonna mm -hmm. run up and do thunder wave. Go ahead. Um Low Nico wait! <laughs> Yuki says in <laughs> Hey, stay close. Which I think is a is it Conse? It's a Conse. Is... Is it con? Yes. All right. Yes. Ooh. It got a ten. Oh. It fails. Because uh, mine is fifteen. Uh, so it takes the All, damage. All uh, gets pushed into the water, I believe. Yes, it gets pushed ten feet away from me. You just. Yeah, as soon as like it just like lands, you just rush over with a, uh, a strum of your shamisen, causing lightning to surge. Lightning or thunderbolt? You, what you prefer? Um, I think it was thunderbolt. So yeah, thunder. When thunder surges from you, uh, just like this sonic boom erupts from you, you, Kano, you have this music ringing in your ears, and it's very pleasant. In the, so, in like the shock of it all, it is. You, that's what gives you the body inspiration as you just feel um, some of this like thunder take the form of like these ethereal foxes that just uh, land on your shoulder. And as soon Me as like it... death, <laughs> death. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as it hits the um, the yokai, you see the yokai just like, get launched off the uh, the platform and just plunge into the depths of the water. And in a massive explosion. It, um, I mean, not explosion, sorry, in a crash into the water, um, you just see a wave of um, a giant splash erupt from it. Anything else? Um, no? I know you're okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna actually, uh, since nothing's on the barge right now, I'm gonna save my attack to do a uh, rating. I got moving one second. Oh, whoops, wrong one. That's why I'm going to do Radiant Sunbolts, uh, two of those, if anything jumps onto the barge. All right, no worries. As you are preparing a Sunbolt, 
you see this great issue button crawling onto all fours it climbs into the water oh and it is underneath the barge you don't see it it's underneath from, oh from underneath she... the barge. Uh oh from way downtown <laughs> it is now the juro's turn so these and these are the spider yoka you guys recall from um oh i've seen these guys be birthed <laughs> yeah, you, yeah you, you, saw it, you saw it happen you just see them spidering oh, that was gross. are these the ones we right. killed before are these the ones we blew up yeah that's them yeah, you recognize oh, like the forms of these strange spider-like creatures as they skip off the, over the water making their way Ooh. towards you kano if kano oh, readied his attack Fair, you to, does yeah. that trigger it if you want to kind of as you're treating it, you'd allow it. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do Radiant Sunbolt on both of them. Here's the first one. Mm -hmm. Oh, did that hurt? On this one. Give me a second. That was the wrong sheet. Uh, what do you get, sorry? 15. 15 hits. All right. That'll be 10 damage on this first guy. And then on that the second one... one Oh, that hits. Yeah. And then also 10 damage on this other one. In a flurry of fiery just sunlight, uh, both yokai erupt as soon as they just land onto the barge and completely um, get disintegrated. And you just hear them glitch away out of existence. Nice. Anything else? Uh, it's your turn. Oh, that, that sorry. was my turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spirits are now gonna try. Uh, it's now their turn. Fuck them up. Oh. So, Shit. the way it works if you've got a spirit next to you, you will get a plus one when they're next to you, but they are also plus one, sorry? Plus one to me. all to any action you make. As a, as a, actually, no, sorry, ignore that. Ignore what I just said. That was a layer action. I'm confusing with a layer action. Um, okay. When, as you guys are fighting, you can, like, all the Lone Eagles music is drowning out all the noise. Um, there is still the slightest sound of singing from the yokai, or what could be called singing, as uh, causing, calling some of them to be drawn towards it. And... Give me a second. As uh, some of them um, start moving, three of them, you are like all uh, just start uh, making their way towards the edge of the barge and just plunge into the water. Oh no! Why are they doing this? They're being called by the song of the yokai. Oh no! The babies. <laughs> Anything else? Oh wait, wait I'm dumb. <laughs> it's now the Shabbat stand, and they're gonna try to make their way these are gonna try and jump onto the boat the ones that are on the edge uh, give me a second they just get onto the edge but they slip and just like kind of just get plunged with their fingers grasping onto the edges as they're just now on um, on the sides Moran, it is your turn. All right. Kano, do you have this side? Yeah, I got it. All right. Uh, then Moran is going to move over to Yuki because she's got a feeling that he's kind of freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. And I'm going to attack this one. Go ahead. That hits. It dunks into it as it crawls. As it, like, you can just see its body underneath the water. You are able to just get one of the arrows to pierce through one of the eyes, causing it to shriek. And you see it lift one hand out of the water to try and grab onto the barge. 
Oh, that's right. It's under. Uh, yeah. No, but you, you I can, if you could that. still is that, see it. Is it okay that I shot yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still fine. You could still see it, so it's all good. All right. But even shoot if, you again like, later. Yeah, I was going to say, even she's with She's going to shoot this one. Go ahead. That one's also under the wall, but like that's one's climbing up. You like you can see its hand uh, gripping on to the barge. Oh, which okay, reminds cool. me. Um, that hits. And that's a 12 damage. Give me a second. That's now I'm just going to move you guys. You were up here, I believe. You were here. And these guys were in the back. 12 damage. Yes, 12 damage to the Shabbaton. You hear it bubbling and shrieking under the water. It, like, when the bubbles pop, it, it's, it adds almost even more distortion to their shrieks. And they just... It's just... It's a caterwaul as they're trying to, like, um, pull themselves up uh, on the bar, onto the barge as you... Um, as it moves further down uh, the river. Anything else you'd like to do? As um, I, I, go on, I go on. turn and make sure that Kano and Lonika are okay. <laughs> Could you guys roll me a deck save, please? All of us. <laughs> yes. You got you it. Dexterity save. Oh. What you get? Mm. Ooh, oh nice. shit, yo. You guys all succeed, I believe, because you got above 16, yes? No. <laughs> oh, never mind, Lonico didn't. Um, <laughs> Lonico! As you, as you guys are if fighting... If you fall into the water, I'll save you. As, as you guys are fighting, you see... You see the scales of um, the Lash and Sora just ruffle once more as you feel the ground, or you see the ground kind of shake as you see the body shift and the coral uh, reef below shift. Um, and you can see as it's shifting, it causes the water just to like erupt into a tidal wave, um, from side to side as it moves. Um, give me a second. Yes, yeah, so it's like just erupting, um, from side to side as it's just causing the entire barge to start just shifting and swaying, call, causing, although Kano and Moran, you guys are able to keep planted, you see Lone Nico um, drop to the ground and roll off the barge into the water. <gasps> As, um... I can't even do my job, I'm off the fucking boat. <laughs> the Shibatan, uh that are here kind of get uh, get pushed off by the, the waves. Um, and also, uh, all fire... Uh, damage has been halved for this round as the barge is dampened. Mm, it is. No. Anything else you want to do, Moran? Um, let's see. I used 20 feet of my movement. I will use 5, 10, and just like skid to a stop and start sprinting after Lonico. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh,. Um, I believe that's all I can do. No worries. As you start running, you hear, uh, you see, uh, you can hear the music of the yokai calling, but then you also hear the spirits uh, behind you start to sing, uh, mimicking uh, the um, uh, low. You just before you fall into the water, you could hear them singing uh, the funeral rite um, by the riverside. Um, um, just being sung by them in a choral um like a choir and as they're singing you guys all gain a plus 10 for everything you guys do for the next uh, round oh Damn. holy shit for everything everything every everything that you guys do um it is the oni's turn now and the Oni is going to swim up and pull itself onto the barge and make a swing for you, Kano. Okay. Making two swings with its great club. Does 11 hit? 11 does not hit. No worries. You take 
27 damage as you just feel its great club smash into you. When it goes for a swing the first oh, time, it's dripping wet good. and it's like you feel like you can see it's slowed down by the weight of the water. And you, it cleaves at you and you are able to sidestep it. And But like where you were standing, the barge kind of gets dented from the heavy thud of the iron club. But as it pulls it back out, it swings at you. Roll a deck save for me. Um, you will have a plus 10 on this. Um, as it tries to bat you into the water. You are all good though. You're able to gain your balance and hold on to the club as you um, as it smashes into you. Lonico is your turn now. Okay. Uh... I die again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see what the, happens. The barge, the barge hasn't moved, has it? So I can just yeah, you like, can move. You'll, you'll, on? Yeah, it'll move on Moran's turn, so you can you can climb back up. Okay, I'd like to climb back on, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I will ask for a athletics check. Okay. You guys Can also all have inspirations. <laughs> I'll allow it. Yay. 25, you are able to pull yourself back on using the Song of the Spirits to um, add, um, giving you a re like you, you feel dr uh, driven hearing the spirits you need to get these uh, them across you need to get them to the haroma anything else you'd like to do Lo? uh i will move up next to kano and i will cast uh kill wounds mm -hmm. a hero <laughs> <laughs> you know, i always have 40. i believe so you actually who knows? <laughs> Regard. Actually, like, let me let me just quickly check. Yeah, it should be. Uh, you gain seventeen healing from that. Oh. As a song of the spirits. Oops! I just minus seven. Energy to oh. <laughs> <laughs> you run. Yeah. And do that again. Oh. You feel even more oomphed as Lonely Co heals you. As you feel the same feeling you did when your fists were burnt off. Anything else, uh, Lo? I will give Moran a bardic inspiration as well and just try and play louder than the fucking guy. <laughs> so you got does this, that make the Does that add plus 10 to my bardic inspiration roll? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. It does extra things. I don't know if you can hear the pain <laughs> in my you... voice. That's realizing that <gasps> I've miscalculated the, the logistics. <laughs> You have fucked the numbers a little bit. That's yeah, fine. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Because, but wait, yeah, because I've got reasons. I took I took twenty seven damage, but then healed seventeen, and then got higher than my max. Wait, hang on a minute now. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's all this off here. Give me a minute. Did you both add it? I think we both like that. Because I didn't subtract your 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 health from you. Just give us a second shot. Um, if your total is 40 and you took 27, you should have healed from a starting point of 13. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. But it went, but it went down to like 24 the first I think, time. I think, I I think we, there may have just been a miscalculation on, on either of our front parts. Uh, did I have Maybe. to make any extra movement to climb up onto the... It would have been 10 feet. Okay. I'm just um, gonna move one over here. Um, actually, you know what? With the logistics of the the song of spirits, there's a reason why it's plus ten. It's fine. It makes sense. I it, it works. It works out. I got this. I know. I know. I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Okay, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm done. All right, Kano, it's your turn. All right. So, uh, in retaliation, I'm going to fight this guy. Go ahead. Uh, three and arm strikes. Oh, plus t t 20, that 25. Uh, let's just do all three of them at once. A uh, second. Oh. That hits. And then <laughs> the bonus action. Except for damage. Uh, except for damage, okay. Yeah. Ciao. 11, 8, so 19. Another 11, 20, 30. The only. You see its body kind of like crumple in from each punch you haven't missed a beat with 
without having normal hands you feel you ju you're just as ferocious with your um and just as powerful with your punches as normal as the only kind of caves in but you see its body push out and burn um where you've you've caved it in anything else uh no that's it no perfect the shabbaton that's here is going to from moran's attack and gripping onto the barge it's going to pull itself up and wildly swing at the these three here you just see it spin in place as all four of these uh spirits get just taken by the shabbaton's uh swing as it like using like still on all fours you see it kind of does like it's it, like it flips itself up and spins on the spot on its uh, furry spine on its hard solid spines and as it spins and attacks them you see they begin to start shifting as the yokai touches them and you see their forms shift and grow and instead of being white balls of fire they begin to start sprouting arms and spines growing out of their body and no and fur growing out of their forms and they shift into yokai damn it and they snarl ferociously at the other three spirits at the the rest of the this spirits. is where yokai come from we got the little baby yokai oh <laughs> I like that monkey one. The new one? I know you I know you, you say it every time <laughs> it always makes me happy. Every time I see it. <laughs> but yeah. Um It was the, that Shabbat turn, so it's not gonna do anything. It is gonna now be the the spider yokai's turns, and they're gonna just start skimming across the pond again, making their way towards you guys. But they're just out of reach. It is the spirit's turn, and they're gonna try and run away, or try and just like stay safe. What do they get? They got sixteen, not thirteen. Sorry, thirteen means only one. As you see, the one next to Yuki just start making it their way into the water and then plunge into its... As their song starts growing fainter and weaker. And you see... In the waters here... A yokai just sprout from where one spirit was. Oh. Oh, it's, oh, it's a tough one too. It is now the Shabbaton's turns. As these ones are spraying, I'm not going to have them start on this turn. They're going to start on the, new, the next wave. But these ones I've been pushed off are going to try and climb onto the, the raft and attack you, low. And this one's going to try and swing at you, Moran. Got it. Um, I would like to, whenever it's convenient for you, use my Sentinel, which Go allows on. me to attack, uh, take an opportunity attack against the guy attacking Lo Nico. Thank you for the follow, Brian Reaper. I will do. Yes, I will do with my katana. That's thirty-one. Mm -hmm. Nineteen. It that uh, the damage doesn't get the plus nine. I mean the plus ten. So. Got it. Okay. Sorry, I was just confused Nine for a second. Nine damage. As well. yeah. But yeah, no, that, that Shaban <laughs> shrieks as you just reach over and catch it. As it, like, it's ready to start swinging at Lone Nico. It doesn't expect it, your tall figure to come out of nowhere and just slice it in half, causing it to, like, kind of shrink in height as you just sweep away at half its body mass with the with your slash. Yeah, the blade is, like, a few inches away from Lone Nico's face as she stabs it over Lone Nico's shoulder. Goodness. Does 17 hit, low? Uh, 
Yeah, like no. Much. You got 18, don't you? Great club. Uh, does 18 hit? Moran? Yes, it does. You take four bludgeoning as you as you're focused on the one that's on um, on low. Um, in protective sister mode, you would say uh, the Shabbaton catches you completely by surprise and just thwacks you in the back, dealing four damage. As it just jitters and jabbers happily, and the song of spirits faints fades away. As it's now back to your turn, Moran. I'm gonna shift everyone just up a few feet on the barge. As you guys are making your way further up the river. It is now Moran, your turn. All right. Um, how do I want to do this? Yuki I'm going is to attack this one. And screaming as this is all happening, but I'd <laughs> like to know. Yuki, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Uh, I'd help you if my legs weren't one? so weak. 34. Can I add it Bardic isn't, Inspiration um, to damage? or? You no. can... Oh, you're right. It's not that yeah. turn anymore. Thank you. Yeah, the, the Song of Spirits has ended. But yeah, you can add Bardic Inspiration on that. Because I think there's a moat that does that, doesn't there? Uh, I can add it to damage? Or no? Your uh, think it's any attack rolls. My moat of potential does the amount of damage that's rolled on a bardic inspiration die but it has to be rolled for an attack okay it okay got it uh, then i'll save damage. it i'll just do 13 damage to the shabatan cleaving in half and just as like you pull yourself around as after after it hits you you just in a whirlwind you just see it get taken away and just erupt into fire that like uh, burns on the top of your katana and uh, wafts up to you, and when it touches you, you it doesn't feel cold. Oof. Okay. Anything else, Moran? Uh, just doing some quick math. Not to worry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, five feet of movement here. I want to fight this one. Give me a second. Sorry. What was that? I right, oh. attack the one attacking Lonico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get it. wiping it also off the barge in you are just a tornado of white fire and red fabric swirling yeah. around low nico all right 5 10 15 20 in, 25 30. when you swirl around low nico in that moment you see yuki just shift their expression to furious hey no i'm meant to be protecting low that's not your job stop but also good job then get to it i would if i will just, just gotta just gotta figure out these legs um anything else Maran? sorry after you move uh yeah i'm gonna action surge go ahead and as i do i'm gonna say hey yuki sink or swim uh <laughs> i would rather swim but i can't and I'm going to attack this one right here with my katana. Oh shit. <laughs> Loki, this Moran's theme all of a sudden. <laughs> 20 hits. <laughs> Alright. The new way shrieks as as you get just kind of skid on the on the on the barge and um pivot your uh, your movement towards a new way you see it's three snake heads leap up as it tries uh um leaping off the ramp towards you uh, all three snake heads out of stretch you just cut them um uh, cut two of them off in one whole sweep and it, it just snarls at you causing uh, the fangs of the one spider head in the middle left just zapping and surging as black smoke smoke starts rippling out of both the snakes and its monkey face yeah, oh. yeah. I've heard it all before. Just zaps at you. Uh, and she, she looks at the big one. I'm coming for you next. And she's going to use her fourth attack from the action surge to finish this one off. Mm -hmm. Because it, yes, my lad. Don't mean to be a bother. I, I looked up on the old videos. I'm supposed to have 51 HP. Not to worry. We will easily fix that. 
Okay. <laughs> 51. <laughs> Give me a second. Plus 11. Mats, I think. Uh, yes, that doesn't get it, but you do cleave up the last of the spider heads, but it still is just beginning to start smoking as you just see white fire erupt from where the heads are spiraling out of control. All right. Uh, back to Lonico and Kano, I say, I've got this, guys. Just get that one off Kano. And uh, that'll be my turn. No worries. It is now going to be the only attacking Kano once again. With Kano on um, on its club, it's going to just slam the club down into the ground. Oh, Kano, would you... Ha how... <laughs> <laughs> how uh, how do you want to leap off the club? How, like what uh, do you want to describe your actions? Uh, my actions, yeah. Uh, you, as, he, as he swings at me, he's... like he's got, like I'm gonna like dodge down below the first one, and then and then I guess the second one. I don't know. Uh, 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 that's as far as I got my my you, actions. There. You, yeah, you able to like, just like it kind of like teeters from like the weight and the force it throws into its attacks. And so mm -hmm. it just just completely underestimates its um, its force, and you see as like the barge is shifting and moving, you see just Tita and Tata are completely overcalculating the power of the swing. But going up to the new way, as it leaps on you, Moran, give me a second as I pull up the sheet. As and as it leaps on you, you see thunder clouds erupt out of it, uh, out of its mouth, creating a surge of black smoke, uh, blocking your uh, your vision and everyone else's vision of you and everything around you guys. As you have a is it magical, or am I okay with my blind sight? It is not magical. You, your blind sight will work. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I like. I realized as soon as I said, I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> That's a big feet. area. It is 15 feet. Oh, 10 feet. Sorry, my mistake. You just hear the feral Genasi shriek as the clouds take over, and then Yuki also shriek, being scared by the um. By the what's it called? Um, by by the feral Janasi. As you see, as you hear thunder zap, uh, lightning zapping from within the cloud. Um, uh, Moran. All right. Could you roll me a deck save, please? Uh, I'd like to use my inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, you Roval. <laughs> you do succeed. As you see the clouds, um, as you see like lightning zapping around, you, you can feel the weave and the strings pl uh, plucking away and like singeing at the zaps of lightning as you're trying to like move away from them. But while within the clouds, you feel the eruption and like the, just the air searing away at the shock of um, the lightning within the cloud, you still do get take. Um, you still get hit by the seven damage, and you see this uh, spirit here trying to dodging, trying to do you feel them trying to dodge with your blind sight as you like feel like the weave plucking away. They are unable to um, to dodge all of the lightning as you see them get hit and you feel or you feel them get hit and you feel their body shift and turn and morph as they are beginning to change into yokai uh oh oh man That's exactly what i was trying to prevent means <laughs> you're gonna be surrounded as you gain a second inspiration so you're back on one I'm gonna Does my bardic inspiration still stand? Your, if you uh, did you use it? Uh, not yet. Then you still got it. Good. Give me a second. I'm gonna get this back on. Um. Do I have my Shizeki stone here? Yes, you have everything that you've had on you. You still keep with you. It is now. Uh, low your turn. Okay. Um. I do I also have my Shiseki stone? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. 
Oh god. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't leaps see into the water. <laughs> oh, I son. can't see in the fog cloud. Ah, yes. <laughs> um. I was saying you can't see because of dark vision. Like, what? It's not on the map. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't see inside the fog. Is what I can't see. Yeah. Um. So I. It's <laughs> all. So, because I sort of knew where the new A was, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> like you can, can still I... like you can still place it like where you can't see, um, if you wanted to. Like it's just like you don't know. If it's um. Or not. Am I able to place it diagonally? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's gonna... Um. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading again how how it works. Um. No worries. It's it is a spell. It's, it's a spell. If I could like <laughs> just slice, <laughs> um, I I know it's a wooden budge, but it's fine. <laughs> How big is it? Uh, um, it is twenty feet high. It's up to sixty feet long. Uh, it's one foot thick, so I would do it 30 feet long. <laughs> it's wall of fire, it's like, the, the pixels ain't, ain't, ain't being kind to it, but it'll do. Stretch. As um, like, as yes, like, obviously this, this yeah. side is the, the damage side. Do you want to describe to me how you use your Shizaki stone? She would be like fire. digging around in her pockets, like, oh, is it there? Where is it? And then just like, yeah, try and remember as best she can where everything was, so she doesn't hurt Moran um, or the spirits, uh, and then just hold it out in front of her, um, and then just be like, oh. Yuki, get everyone over here. Okay. Okay, everyone, we need you over here, please. Over, over there, right where, where Lo, Lo just pointed to. Right there. Everyone, please. Thank you. Uh, as the wall of fire just erupts as you brandish the Shiseki Zone and just think of it, causing a line of fire to leap, uh, to like cut into the ground. And then a, it's like you see a fuck, like, um, like it looks like a fox running on the ground. And as it's running, you see its tails erupting into this giant wall. Um, and the new way is able to kind of like just push itself off the wall. Um, still does get singed, and the Juro does it is not even ready. I'm not even gonna like need to like uh, have you to roll the damage for that because like it, one, it takes max damage, oh. and that like isn't standing a chance against 35 damage. That's gone. Uh, but the new way, if you want to roll me 5d8, please. As you do know, so when the fire is like a um, Moran, as like you're like feeling the weave being pulled away, you feel this sudden heat erupt on you. You can feel the weave plucking where at the base, and low. You can also see at the where the fire is on the barge. You can see it's it isn't 15. singeing. Fifteen. It's enough to do it. Yeah. As low. Uh, you, um, I'll get to that. But yeah, you you can see the barge isn't being affected by the fire. Yay. As <laughs> the new way erupts into a white fire that like burns at all the black smoke around it as well, um, revealing. Um, Moran um, slashing away at the new way just as your wall of fire um, gave it the final blow. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to. I'm still on the ruler. I'm going to move just more into the middle. Um, and everyone still has body inspiration. Uh, when I use a Shiseki stone, can I cast. A, a bonus action spell, or was that nah? I'm gonna say yeah. Have you used an action other than like? Oh yeah, you did because that don't. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if 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 not. I was just wondering. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. It's okay. And I shall just stand here and be like, <laughs> everyone, please move away from my firewall. Hmm. Will that move with the boat? Find out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
only one way to find out, and that is to <laughs> fuck around. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I was like, if it doesn't, then I'll drag these guys, wouldn't it? <laughs> They'll get pulled right into it. Where is Yuki? Is going to be just like doing their job and like trying to help. They've like kind of calming down from all the fear as they're trying to like help and guide the spirits to the other side. Um, Kano, it is your turn. All right, I'm still fighting this guy, so I'm going to continue doing that. Uh, I'm going to do my unarmed strikes. That hits, right? That hits. All oh right. no, it doesn't. Sorry, my, my mistake. In that one. Oh, and in that case, I'm going to be doing my uh, my, <laughs> my board inspiration on that one. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing my chat inspiration on the second one. Go ahead. Nice. What, 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 what are the what are the what are the rules for that? Add inspiration to d6. So you add a d6 to it. All right. So this oh, one's for the first d6. one, and this is also the chat inspiration is also a d6. Yep. All right. So three no, for no, both of no. them. Oh, sorry, chat inspiration isn't six. It's a whole uh, nat twenty. Like you re-roll. Oh. Like it's, okay, like it's well, normal advantage. We'll... All right. Then this will be for the second one. Oh shit! Oh, nat twenty. <laughs> Thank oh, you, roll for nice. nat twenty. Um, and uh, let's see how this does. So here's the first strike. Mm -hmm. 13. Second strike is uh, 17 plus 8, which is uh, 25. Uh, and then 38 in total from those two strikes. Are you still standing? That'll do it. As okay. like. doesn't even do extra something. Yeah. All right. I have a third attack I could do if, if that he's still standing. I, well, the thirteen was enough, so like you could carry it over to the next one, uh, the next attack if you want. Oh, As like shit. you can I make, can I make it the, the next attack a, a sun strike yeah, against I'll, I'll allow it. Um, like this guy here. Yeah. Before you do, let me just set it to nat twenty for you then, so it doesn't. It'll do the nat twenty damage. Cause I'll let that roll over. Just give me a second. Bring your sun ball. There, if you want to roll Sunbolt for me. Okay. Nice. And, and then it will be instead a uh, 10 to that Excellent. guy. Excellent. Wonderful. When, um, yeah, when you like just got a punch at the, um, the only the first time, you see like your punch kind of like, you, you almost feel it like it's just not on the mark but then you see the uh ethereal fox on your shoulder leap down and just kind of like kick at your like arm to just realign you caught um just uh, completely taking the only by surprise and you just in a shock of uh sound erupting from it and you hear music jingle outwards from your punch you see the only erupt into white fire that feels very warm on your arms as it burns up you but you destroy it yeah. Um, which one did you want to attack with your uh, Sunbolt? This one. Yes. 10 damage. And then I'm just going to move Kano here and that'll be it. Mm -hmm. That'll be my turn. Yep. You just see a golden lion leap through the fire and erupt on the Shaban's face as it leaps through. Uh, and it just starts snarling and just slapping at, the, at its face with its three arms trying to waft out, waft out the fire. It is the yokai's turn now. Um, and the greatest Shabatan is going to... Pushing through these and... As it like gets into your range, Moran is going to try and push through you. Uh, to get onto, your, uh, onto the other side, it starts swinging its hammer around in a, uh, in a circle. Sure, um, shouldn't it take 5d8 from passing through the wall? Locke, would you want me 5d8, please? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I've, only, I've used Firewall once, and like I n nothing was stupid enough to walk past, walk through it. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't want to do that. It was a different... Oh no, that is, that is the one. I might have to relook at the sheet. Yeah, um, hello? Oh, it's Georgia. I think Georgia just went, didn't she? Oh no! 
Georgia, are you here? Oh yeah, no, she she's back. Uh, she's gone. She, sorry, she, she is. Will she will, when she when she's back, I uh, rhyme you know, to have a roll her five d six damage. The Yoka here is gonna you with all four hands on this hammer. It's gonna swing down on you, Moran. Uh, oh, no. completely understandable. What if that five d eight had killed it though? <laughs> We'll find out. We'll see. Well, we'll oh, we'll, we'll, we'll re we'll rewind. Yeah, no worries, we'll re no worries, no worries. Re no so yeah, you'll we'll take eighteen damage and we'll come back to that. Oh Coolio. my god! As like you just like as you just feel its weight crush into you, and as it um you feel your body just get plunged into the barge under its weight, and you can feel the water underneath as you can feel it start shifting. Um, the water, like something underneath the water shifting. You can assume the scales are ruffling again. Um, uh, shall I do the damage or will you? We'll leave it for now. We'll come back to it uh, just in case. Okay. Um, but yeah, it is the Spider Yokai's turn and they're going to start climbing up and then this one's going to try and bite at you, Kana. Gross. And then slash at you with its claws. 68 oh, hit. Ignore the poison damage. I like use the etta cap as a base. I never. I see. So, so you take nine uh, damage as you just feel its fangs and just dip into you. Well, not dip into you, pierce into you. That's a better word. Why did I say? Dip? Oh, good. Roll your <laughs> fire damage. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, George, could you roll five d eight for me? Yes. Um, there it is. <laughs> it wasn't enough, so you do take the 18 damage. But the cool. yokai is just charred on its entire front end. It is now. Did he run through it? What a bitch. It did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's Feral Janassi's turn, and they're going to rush over to help Kano, leaping over him <laughs> and, and just yeah. charging. At the at the uh, the Juro, your bro's gonna die. <laughs> shrieking. Fourteen hits. If I find where I had the thing, uh, Moran, and also Lo, if you want to get your turns ready in a second, let's, let's do something. I don't know why I didn't roll this. Thirteen still hits, sir. And as like the Janasi just like leaps over and just grabs onto the uh, the yokai, it just starts tearing at all its legs, ripping them off. You see it begin to start shrieking and uh, uh, not the yokai, sorry, the Janasi just shrieking and howling, ripping off all its legs. Um, <laughs> and it's just like a wild animal as it's doing as it's doing that and just shrieks in uh in all its glory all their glory as they have destroyed the yokai they are now, oh yeah the other um spirits are gonna try and um resist the song there and most of them are able to resist however this one starts moving I've told y'all to move over here and you're still- No! I told him, I told him, Lo, I swear, you heard, you heard me. You, your ears work, don't they? You, you heard me, you heard me. I, told, I said it. They said no, I said I yes. <laughs> well, no, I said yes, they said no, that was it. As the other yoka in the water are swimming towards the land and climbing up. It is now your turn, Moran. As before you make your turn, the barge shifts once more further, and the wall of fire clinging to the barge makes its way with you. Whew, that's good news. Yay. <laughs> It'll probably water. kill all of those Shabbaton. <laughs> and it, the barge is uh, starts rocking, and like, not rocking, sorry, it was shifting. Rocky. To, uh, rocky. <laughs> rocky the fire <laughs> Not the fire genasi, the earth genasi. <laughs> <laughs> and it shifts towards the edge. I'm going to move you guys over to another map as something begins to happen. As uh, Moran, as you feel mm -hmm. the ground underneath you begin to shift and ripple, you feel it begin to um, shift more aggressively and um, 
less like sleepily is the way I would refer to it. As I'm going to change the music. Uh, Give me a second. Brace yourself. <laughs> That was not what I wanted to do. Yeah. As um, the water starts growing aggressively, as the water starts crashing and swaying beside you, you can see... Um, what's it? That's not where I wanted to look. It's over here. Hello? Um, before any of this, as this is happening, your vision starts blurring. And as it starts blurring, <laughs> you see yourself erupting into fire and then thrusting yourself with a burning hands at Randall, Rocky and Lo-Fi Boy. And then your vision unblurs, taking you back into the place that you are in. Um, let's give me a second. Why is it not working? Ah, uh, that's why. Fuck. Sorry, <laughs> just give me a second. She probably collapsed to her knees, to be honest. As you collapse your knees, you feel the barge start swaying and shifting aggressively. As... Huh. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, the river starts quaking and shaking. And you, the scales, you, uh, when th those are you near the water, start looking at the scales under the water with the yokai eye underneath they start rippling and furrowing as you see its body lift up out of the water causing the river to part as it pushes itself through um further up ahead so not in front of you guys but you see just up ahead just this giant worm body uh snake body sorry um push out of the river uh just as wide as the river as it like goes on for miles, as you can see crown, uh, not crown, sorry, coral swirling around and um, growing out of the scales. Further up ahead, you see the waterfall that is climbing down um, the uh, Shigoa Reishabu. Um, you can see out of the mists, the head of a giant monstrous ancient dragon with a crown of coral, uh, um, growing out of its powerful and long face as it pulled itself out from the sky as you can see its entire body coiling around the landscape around you it bites at one of the clouds taking a chunk out of them as great thunder clouds surge out of its angry maw and i'm gonna move you guys over to a different map for a hot second oh that's cute oh it is cute. If I can you can you guys see it? Yeah. Oh it looks awesome. my god! Oh no, I can't. That is can so dope. It. <laughs> it oh, it's really very cool. dark. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. As you see, oh. coil down from the sky, and make its way down to you all, and stares at you with its giant. Is this giant a car eye? No. <laughs> and we're gonna take a break. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> we'll be back in five to ten minutes. Um, we're gonna grab some water. I'm just gonna quickly shout out my clunky squadron because I haven't shared them out already. Because uh, AJ is part of them. And Epi, if you want to tell us where you are quickly. It's me. I do art on Instagram, uh, but recently I've been playing on here, and this is awesome. <laughs> Dragons are cool, man. They are. Yeah. Check out McClunky Squadron. We do a lot of cool stuff. It's not letting me shout you guys out. Hey. Twitch? Fuck you. I'm spelling it Shut us up. Oh my god. Never mind, Twitch. Yeah. You're fine. We'll be back in five to ten minutes. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. And remember, you have channel points that you can use to help or hinder the party as they're fighting. Yeah. See you guys in a half second. We'll be right back.
shine a light through a prism full spectrum. Pull the curtains back, you're my dimension. Lay back and just forget the future. Star brain in a two star town, and I'ma give it back when I have enough money in my hands, enough for the friends and the fam. And I owe it all to Yahweh. Lord knows that I couldn't do it my way. Almost bought a ticket for the fast lane. Now I'm hopping on a flight to the Epiglades to forget the pressure.
to get on stocks of golf. When you ride up against the wall and you cannot fall, so go on, go on. Bonsoir, I picked the wrong stream. I, I put us on, <laughs> on uh, what's it called? Oh, shit. When you run it out of luck, need to get on stocks of golf. When you get to golf, 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 golf. Are we good? Hello? It's a fucking I'm travesty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking mess. Uh, <laughs> oh, very sorry, everyone. <laughs> I clicked on why, well, like I said, game. So I was like, oh, that's like that's the stream. But now we just roll twenty. Yeah, like, hang on, wrong thing. Number one pro DM streamer. I've been doing this for two years, <laughs> and I'm like, nah. <laughs> All right, but yeah, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna get that music starting again, and then we're gonna go back into uh, initiative. Oh, butt spot! <laughs> <laughs> we need to roll initiative. Butts. Nope. Okay. You're all good. Uh, it was the spirit's turn, so it was just on. I lie. It's um, on Moran's turn. Okay. Cool. Because yeah, the spirits were anything. moving. Yeah. All right, dope. I was about With... to be like, excuse me. Uh, um, hello? <laughs> I, I believe. <laughs> All right. Um, first thing I'm going to do is go, is that the... Hey, guys. And she's going to point at the giant dragon. <laughs> kind of like panicked. Uh, and then realizing she's got a giant... Uh, yokai that wants to smash her skull in i think she's gonna worry about that first i will use second wind um and that restores to me 12 hp as you uh as you were asking if that's like if that's uh you you see yuki put on their monocle for a second um <laughs> yes moran actually that is the lash and sora the uh the great carrier of the heaven the holder of the sky personal friend of Shio e well, Sh the Shio car and also extremely terrifying as they take off their monocle and start shrieking shouldn't that be a good thing as you see the I mean... giant monstrous head stare down on, at you all and she kind of like shivers like Ugh. it's like <laughs> the, t the map doesn't do it justice it is fucking huge with like its face alone as it just stares down at you and just create casting a huge shadow over the barge as you can see as it looks down at you, you can see um it has this one lizard like eye but then it shifts into the target shapes uh, like that of the yokai as you can see growing underneath its scales and in certain patches where the coral has like um Almost as if like like chunks of the dragon have been like corrupted and shifted, uh, and like the um, turned into dead coral. You can see uh, yokai eyes um, just swarming on its body. Loniko, I was never cut out to be a shaman, and so I became a fighter instead. But even I know that's really bad, uh, and I'm going to attack this shabadan with my katana. Mm -hmm. Let's see that hits and that does All it right. you want to describe to me how you do it it's just a clean straight slash through 
-hmm. As, yeah, as like with, with the slash, as you just twist and pivot again uh, to realign yourself, you pull the fire in, um, causing it to take form into the wall of fire as you see it trail and follow on the barge as it makes its way along with you guys clinging on like you can if you look close you can actually see tiny little f uh, fire foxes um holding the wall of fire down to the ground knowing that unless the shabbaton it's opaque i can't see through it but knowing that unless the shabbaton do some crazy nonsense they can't get through i'm gonna move away from the mm -hmm. wall five ten kano you okay i was gonna ask you that are you okay yeah yeah i mean i'm kind of freaking out but i'm okay 15 20 25 30. and i'm gonna stand sword drawn in front of loniko mm -hmm. as you you hanging in there As you ask as that, says that you hear a yeah. zapping coming from over the hill. As you can see, on making its way, running on all fours, leaping off and exploding into a cloud of black smoke. A new way thunder steps into you guys. Oh. All right. Uh. I do still have an attack. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you end your turn? Sorry, my mistake. Go on. Uh, no, if if I did, you know, if oh, that, it's not that here, was, that's fine. Yeah, that was on its turn, yeah. Sorry, because I thought you finished your turn. Right. No, 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 no worries. It can do that. Uh, am I able to use Sentinel to yeah, attack it? Yeah, it? It, it, it gets in space. Yeah. All right, uh, but I should make my Thunder Wave save first, shouldn't I? No, no, no. Like, you both at the same time. So if you want to both roll, I will find... Boink! The sheet. Uh, which... Is it a 10 slash save or a con save? It is a dex save. Oh, oh. It does it say dex or does it say con? It says con. Con it is. It says con. <laughs> Sorry, that's on me. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, fail. Oof. <laughs> As it just gets into range, or as it just teleports into the space as like you see lightning zapping off it and you can feel like you almost see feel the weave pluck just before it appears um as you see like the air kind of like you feel the air like tear from uh, from that location you slash at it instinctively causing it to shriek as it just appears out of nowhere and zaps outwards uh, pushing low nico back by 10 feet as she takes eight damage as um, the sh lightning zaps her and just shocks her backwards. You, Moran, are able to hold your ground, but you do still take four damage. Okay. And that is its turn. Lo, it is your turn. Um, she was, when Moran asked her, she was like, probably still on her knees, just in shock, but having just been... <laughs> <laughs> thrown back, it kind of snaps her out of it forcefully, um, and oh, oh. she is going to uh, the. Uh, she's going to fly a bolt. That's what she's going to do at the new way. Wait for a kiss, guys. Hmm. Hit. <laughs> oh, it hey, misses. <laughs> It was max damage, so you don't even need to roll for it. Yeah, 10 oh. plus... No, that was it, yeah, so like 20. Ooh. Ooh. You know what, yeah. <laughs> that'll, do it. that'll do it, because it's only on two hit points, and like that's like, I feel pointless. So As, yeah. As it just, just gets into the space, you just launch a ball of fire at it. And you see Yuki also just like pose uh, as if like they uh, were helping... Um, as it just erupts on the the new way and in a just a all-consuming fire the uh, the new way erupts and yuki just looks very proud of themselves anything else uh, uh all spirits. A... <laughs> over here please 
to me. <laughs> Give bad inspiration to uh, Kano. Kano Bro, we lost a lot of spirits in that. <laughs> oh, I did forget to mention. Um, sorry, I, I should have described sorry. The spirits that like you had killed or, or destroyed on the barge, you notice in the final moments they would shift back into um the balls of flame um into what's it called uh into yeah into white balls of flame similar to those un um unassuming balls of fire that you saw at the line earlier and kind of like just like peter on the air but like wave very like translucently as they like latch onto the nearest one of you three or yuki so, like, there's actually quite a few surrounding Moran in this moment. Um, and I think there's two on you, uh, Kano. And, though, yeah, at the end of the turn, you'll do fire, uh, firewall damage. As Moran, you... One of these spirits, you feel, gift you five hit points. Thank you. If you want to roll your 5d8, please. Do the effort. I can't remember if they roll. Deck saves, or if they just straight up just take. Uh, Actually, just uh, take? The, the damage they take is at the end of their turns. Because like, there's all I, I think for this, like what I do for like stuff like this, I just do all on Lowe's turn. Because I find it's easier to keep track of. Because I also did forget. <laughs> mm, yeah. And I would forget for anything that like, especially because like there's like there will be more than just one type of yokai. It's it's I find it's easier, to, much easier to track. Hey, whatever you like. If you can roll. <laughs> the wall just erupts outwards um, in the direction of the Shabbaton. As you see. As it like kind of pushes that, you just see one get taken in and then just pulled in by them as, as it turns into white fire. And on the side where it was, you see push out a little ball of fire. Um, another little, yeah, little white wisp ball of fire of a uh, spirit taking its original form again, or not its original, its unassumed uh, form, and then wafts towards uh, uh, you, lonely guns swirls around you. Any else, love? Um, it spends its turn within ten feet of the wall. Is that going ten feet of it? Is it 10 feet or was it 5 feet? It's 10 feet. Okay, yeah. No, then, yeah, that one's gone as well. So, yeah, two spirits. You have two spirits <laughs> on you. Yeah. Sorry, I, was, I thought it was 5. <laughs> yep. The Shaban are now going to make their turn. And this one is going to run around the, the fire. I mean, there's... Yeah, no, it, it has no chance. It's going to have to. <laughs> So it just puffs into flames, or it just jumps in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and it just starts trying to swim. Thanks about it. Nah, nah, not today. Kano, okay, it's your turn. As you uh, see I'm the going dragon to... just stare down at you. All. I'm gonna move and you can up see here. Yokai all around you on the platforms around. I'm gonna like stare at the dragon, but also uh, prepare my attacks if anything comes close. I want to strike at it. But uh, that'll be it. It is now its turn, and it will. As you all are just there, down at it, you can see its eyes jitter and shift as it's like. When it goes to roar, it causes the ground around you to shake, giving off this ancient. Like, even when it, when it shakes and when it, like, moves, you can see like dust and just debris fall off of it um and as like the coral also like just like gives off um just tiny flecks of um of dried scales and just all sorts just falling off of it. its ancient body as it uh, as it roars yeah the entire valley around you just quivers and shakes but you can hear just this faintest of distorted glitchiness in its um in its roar as it goes to with this cloud in its mouth 
do its lightning breath. <laughs> down on oh, what? Uh, hello? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Is it a good time? The yeah, could use both the Bardic Inspiration on a deck save. <laughs> Could you roll a deck save, please? Uh, As Yuki shrieks, seeing this lightning just zap down at you all and him. Or them, sorry. Yuki! <laughs> uh, um, deck save? I'm gonna use my Bardic Inspiration at the same time. You get, um... Temporary HP, um, as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, fifteen. It's, it's uh one plus my charisma modifier, so it's five it's temp easy. HP. Yeah, if you give yourself five temp HP, I'm just gonna write it here. I'm just gonna put it Me? here because yeah, you can. Yeah, you. And Moran, you got 19, you got 16, so you, Kano and Lo, you fail. Wait, can I use my chat inspiration? You can. I think, I'm, no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my relentless endurance. It'll bring me down to one, but I'll stay there. <laughs> Moran, you take half. You take 22 damage. <laughs> and low, you take 22 damage as well. <laughs> Could you roll a deck save for you? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming oh, the HP is already gone, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yuki just about dives out of the way, also taking 22 hit points of damage. <laughs> Feral Janassi. I don't know, like, they don't need to roll. They, like, they have one hit point each. They dive out of the way, but yeah, like, this lightning just, like, as it erupts out of its mouth and just flies towards your Moran and Lo, you are kind of able to, uh, like, shield each other and, like, just pulling yourself away. While Kano, you do, um, you... Almost use your body to shield them. I'm shielding Moran. She's, I assume you use a little, uh, what's it called? This little conga line of, of shielding each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Moran's shielding low, you're shielding, uh, shielding the, uh, Moran. And you take the the brunt of um, of the, the lightning breath. As Yuki is in just the fallout of it all and just like gets into the fetal position. <laughs> And just Give collapsing, the the spirits uh, around you, they all just get taken away and then just zapped away and you just, they're no longer there on the, um, on the barge. And you just feel your, your body's got completely numb as the Lash and Sora shrieks again and turns its head. Just looking at all the yokai swirling around as you are all just shaking from just the energy and the power of the dragon. Kano. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch you die again. His blood starts pouring from his mouth a little bit. There is no blood. <laughs> you look at you can't bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Fire starts playing. Let him have his moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, should, I should have said, yeah, like, you got like white fire erupts out of you. White fire erupts out of my mouth a little bit. That could have bad implications, not white fire. Uh, what color fire would uh, Kano like? Right, gold. He has gold fire just erupt out of him uh, from various um, cuts and moons. And you can see they're all like lightning uh, shaped as the barge continues drifting up the river. Ah, damn! As you are just in the shadow of the dragon there. Moran, it's your How turn. How far up is it? It comes down close enough for you to be able to reach it. Uh, it's right I'm gonna up. jump on. Go ahead. 
Roll dexterity. May Roll I do dexterity. acrobatics? You can. Uh, I'd like to use my chat inspiration. Go ahead. Oh. Oof. Oh. Ripperoni. <laughs> you are oh. unable to climb onto the Martian Sora as, as you just like grab onto one of the coral discs and try to grip onto it and just pull yourself up. You see, just shake its head as it, tu- as it turned towards the yokai and just shrieks at them. With the just the reverberations and the power in its voice, you get just pushed off and <laughs> back on the barge. I grab her before she hits the ground. I love it. Listen, as as you catch you her, you and Lone Nico should swim to shore. As you catch her, the you f- see the body of the dragon under the water shift again as tidal waves start forming once more causing the barge to shift and just spur into chaos if you could all roll me a deck save please blame sam it's not my fault sam (laughs) (laughs) luckily it isn't much low and kane you (laughs) have to brace yourselves but you do see the edge of the barge dampen Moran, you are prone as Kano catches you, but is also just a bit too weak to um, to hold both you up and kind of just fumbles a bit from also the crashing waves around you. As the barge continues pushing from the force of the tidal wave. Now this is uh, this is where it gets tricky. Moran, we're going to see this through. Thanks, and if we don't, at least we're together. Anything else? But she's she's not dead. And she looks back at Lone Nico. We gotta get you out of here, kid. Don't worry, I can do that. Yuki says. But then. And what are you waiting for? We 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 have to get her to the end. That's that's how she gets out. So. I, on a technicality, I, I, I am doing it. I'm helping. Yuki well, says, technicality, you're c- useless. Yuki does look very scared of you both when, when they're saying this. As Kano, some of the water splashing around t- evaporates into spirits in the um, amongst all like the, the heat of the air just being torn by the lightning. And you gain, uh, as they form into a, a healing spirit, you gain five hit points. A little refreshing. As, and as this is all happening, you see Yuki wait. Like, hold on a minute now. I'm her spirit guardian. But she's this our is my job. Guardian. No, yeah, no. See, exactly. So it makes sense. So I'm gonna protect her, so she can protect you. So if you guys get off my back, I'm a fuck shit up. <laughs> Yuki now can um, be Monica. <laughs> All right. Uh, with the rest of my turn, uh, do I still have an action, or was trying to jump on my action? I will allow that as a free action, even though Thank they don't see five people. She sort of, st- still with a hand on Kano's arm, moves in front of Lonico to shield her, and readies an attack with the trigger being uh, the Lashan Sora or any yokai getting close enough to reach her blade. Mm-hmm. The smoke that occurs when she tries to summon Hanako is pouring off of her, but there's nothing there. That's my turn. It is now... Kano, your turn. Well, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to step in front of Moran instead. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wait, wait, comes wait, close, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to defend, uh, I'm going to protect, protect. You are so impossibly stubborn. I just let out a little chuckle. As, anything else you want to do, uh, Kana? We just... That's it. I'm just going to hold my action if anything comes close. 
Or if no. this fucker attacks again or something. The Lashensaur is going to be shifting his head. And it does turn turns towards you. But you are all out of its reach, as it only can bite whatever's facing in front of it. What a ding dong. <laughs> <clears throat> but you see this claw shift. As oh no! It's ready to catch on to you. I spoke too soon! <laughs> <laughs> But it just coils and snakes. As you can see, Yokai around, almost hesitant to want to come forward. Give me a fucking minute. Oh, I'm a ding dong. Lo, it's your turn. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, do I sorry, yeah, no, I was like, <laughs> I was like, hang on a minute. There's I can't some... see. I can't see the initiative order anymore. So I yeah. don't know what's I'm pretty sure she that... was before me, though. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. Yeah, sorry, it was Lo's turn. <laughs> I, I was like, what? I knew something was wrong. I was like, hang on, it's Moran's turn again. But she just. Lost your turn, and you have, K uh, you have Yuki on the and Yuki is feeling invigorated and furious with, cool. with um, passion. I can't remember how Yuki works. Um, <laughs> Yuki can just cast a spell um, as a bonus action and an action. And an action, okay. And he cool. calls his, all, all their spells are your spells. Excellent. Uh, Yuki, can you come over here and Coming. kill Queen's Kano? <laughs> Please. Slaps Kano on the back. Ah. Uh, you cast Yuki healing. can cast uh, it at level 2, can yeah. he? Yeah, he upcasts right to its highest level. Yes. Okay. You mean nice. We get 9? And then. 69. <laughs> <laughs> you gain 15 healing? I, I've done it for you. So yeah, yes. you get you he slap you on the back and like this like fire that washes over you isn't as com uh isn't as like friendly and caring as Lowe's is. And then you just see you <laughs> just tap you on the back and like yeah. Get it. Go on. I, I, I just look at like this this child <laughs> Do it. This protect, child just slap me on the back. <laughs> protect me to protect protect you you to protect her to protect you. Yes. Do that, okay? Got it. Go. Yeah. And then um, healing word on Moran, because it's a bonus Go action. Ahead. You gain eight healing. Thank you. As Yuki just starts... Yuki's words, very poorly phrased, but <laughs> there's there's drive and there's passion in, in their words. And yeah, you. You protect him. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> protect him to protect me, to protect you, to protect her, to protect... It. Yes. That's very good. Bye. Sorry, you kid. Uh, I'll have you know. Just. just... Yeah. No. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to send the lash and sword to sleep, so I'm just gonna cast mirror image of myself. <laughs> That's a good idea. As you cast mirror image, how do you cast it? Um, she'll probably play uh, a little tune on uh, her shammy's um. I knew I should have put a mirror emoji in here. <laughs> yeah, as you start playing your shamsen, can you roll me a charisma check? Okay. A stunking eight. <laughs> eight. Although it's you, you, you are kind of struggling to gain. Like you are just shaking constantly from the shock of the sky being zapped at you. Um, there's a lot going on. <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot going on. But like even with the you playing, you can see the two Lash and Sora eyes. Um, the main ones on its head, uh, just under its horned brows, you can see they shift back to the lizard dragon draconic eyes once uh, for a second, but then back to the target shapes. As you can see, it uh, some of the dead coral just kind of like flake off, revealing tiny, tiny bits of color under the, underneath the coral. If. And I will give my last bardic inspiration um, to Kano. Oh. Even with the shaky music, you are still able to 
to gain some inspiration out of it and try it. and you are like you, you your defiance is inspiring the lot is my elbow. <laughs> oh, no. anything else low um yeah she's just yeah, she's <laughs> Mm. Terrified and shaking, she's like, "I'm not leaving you two." And now, where does um, the people you just met? <laughs> it's her job, actually. So she's, <laughs> she's been, she's doing, she's this doing kid. work. <laughs> I no, swear don't, to God. Uh, don't this kid me, buddy. <laughs> um, I'm not just some kid. Um, I'm older we than you. We get it. Yeah. You two are Kai. Yeah, exactly. She gets it. Why do you get it? But long you ago, I've had key. enough. <laughs> I've had enough of people dying for me. Then we've got no choice but to get through this. Moran, you protect me from a distance, and I protect you from up close. It is your turn, Moran. She closes her eyes, and she says almost like a prayer I died for this help me and for a second she's covered in white and you think it's the white fire of yokai but it's not it's the smoke that's been pouring for her for minutes turns shock white into mist and she summons an echo tall with horns and flowing clothes but it is not Hanako You see Taya's... All right, you stupid dragon. Just taking the mist. As you can see, like, when you are covered in this white smoke for a moment, Moran, you also see the barge around you, Kano and Lo, also has this, like, white smoke port towards uh, Moran in this moment. Continue. She's going to strike at the dead coral on the Lashan Sara with her katana. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The hits. She's going to strike again. Mm -hmm. The hits. She's going to use one of her Unleash Incarnation, and the Katana Strike is going to come from Taya's own sword. Mm -hmm. In a just flurry of blows with. Taya almost taking form over you. You both, uh, you both just unleash on the dragon. And as you're cutting at the car, the dead coral, you can see you almost like like as you, like it's really like even with the force and strength you're putting into, you are able to like cleave at portions of it, but most of it you can only just scrape away. But as you're scraping it away, you can see that the the uh, the sword doesn't even like look at you, as it's just. Sh only when do you cut into its skin or cut off the coral does it shriek. But as you're scraping it away, you can you start revealing color underneath. Her mm -hmm. eyes are closed. She's working off blind sight alone. Mm -hmm. That's my turn. Lower to your turn. Yuki turns you. You should probably get back as the barge starts moving. Is it moving now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's moving! And you guys are just under the claw. The claw. <laughs> Can I move out from it without getting... You can't, yeah, no, it, like, it's not, like, technically focused on you, the way I would describe it. And it does just touch the wall of fire, so if you want to roll 5d8. Or the 5d6. D8. It looks like he's sneezing over his nose. <laughs> oh. And it didn't need to roll a dex save, it just takes it, doesn't it? Uh, yes. The damping, I believe, is gone, so it just, yeah, it does get burned. And when it gets burned, it shrieks as the fire takes over its scales and then burns away at the dead coral 
revealing flashes of pinks, oranges, blues, and just a rainbow of um, of the plants as like the, as its crown gains color again. Um, yep, no, move, please. Uh, right. Says. to go <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, actually before I move can I get Yuki to heal me yes you can you can you try to go for a high five <laughs> as you get nine healing back yeah they said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it, see? Being a good spirit guardian. That's how it's done. Um. You notice also when Yuki's moving, his uh, their balance is... Uh, actually, roll perception. Roll perception for you. Their balance it has improved. <laughs> their balance is... You only notice their balance has improved. That's all. Whoa! He's going to Gaming. Oh. Oh, gosh. Hi, Maki Gaming. Thank you for the raid. We're just fighting a dragon. I'm going to zoom out <laughs> in a second. In this okay. game, of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. Uh, As... I will... You want to what, sorry? Sorry, I was just going to... Um, use healing word on uh, Kana. Go ahead. Yeah. Yuki or uh, Lo? Uh, from Yuki. Gotcha. That is nine. You gain nine healing. As Yuki just starts humming again, and like he's like, yeah, go on, do it. Kill. <laughs> and also <laughs> ask him to move away. Do it. <laughs> As like you hear them, uh, do it, kill, 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 kill the dragon. As like it gets quieter and fainter as they move away. <laughs> but you, and you hear them running Wait, away what? as well. They <laughs> kill, kill the dragon. Do it. Is it my turn? It uh, is. No. Okay. Oh, sorry, go on. Anything else? Oh, yeah, that's just, just Yuki's turn. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um. Uh, yeah. What do I want to do? I don't know, I guess I'll just try and um, fireball some dead coral. <laughs> Sounds like a very bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. It was it a 12. <laughs> as it just like bounces into the wall of fire as the Larshan Sora turns its body. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> to just play music. <laughs> Distress. <laughs> it turns to you, love. Hi. As um, Moran, uh, as like Taya is forming. Oh, but, uh, sorry, it's Kano's turn. Uh, never mind. I'll I'll do. Actually, no. Yeah. Uh, as Moran has formed, you feel the smoke emanating off of her, and the smoke is just this strange sense of confusion and on a just wave of sadness just a wave waft off and that also touches you Kano as as she as you see her form is just around you and like she almost like, like when she like she looks at you but she can't linger when she does It is now Kano your turn. All right, I am going to. Uh, how far away is, is this fist or anything that I could hit? It's just above you. So like I could punch yeah. it. Yeah, it's just about to crash into you. Okay, then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try deflecting it with three arm strikes. I was saying with deflect missile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Kano! 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 More like Kane, yes, I'm alright, guys. 
There's that one. Sure, and yeah. That one. Holy shit. Uh, shit, son. He says 33. I need a Kano Pog emoji. Uh, 45. <laughs> that would be 60 damage. My god. As you. As the hand comes crashing down on you, you see it just. You kind of. You just lift up and just start punching at it. Causing the coral to just crack and shatter and just crumble off dead and just as it's falling around you you see the dragon trying to grab onto you but as it, with one final punch you just cause the entire thing to kind of like as it makes impact you see the scales all riffle uh riffle outwards or ripple outwards and as they uh furrow you see the scales shift in like a wave as they just crash in on each other and just turn into water that splashes down onto you Oh, 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 oh. He's got no fucking arm. <laughs> That's fucking right. <laughs> Zap me again, motherfucker. See what happens. How much damage did, was that all together? Uh, 60. There we go. It is now the Lash and Sora's turn. Oh. And as you've done that, you see it twist its body, bringing its other arm down on you. Oh, God. <laughs> Focusing on you specifically, Kana, but it will um, cause you, Moran, to need to like you. You just shift as its um, its entire weight just crashes in around. Can you. I make a reaction? Sure. Can I push uh, Moran other way? You can. Will I you was going to use Sentinel to to attack it because it was attacking you. <laughs> I mean, you can do. You can have a little combo. I ain't against it. Sentinel and then push her other way. Sounds good. <laughs> what do I need to roll for the push? Uh, strength. That's it. Saving throw or just strength? Strength. Moran, you okay with it? Yes, does a 17 hit? So I'm gonna hits. use the bardic, situ uh, bardic inspiration with that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah! Six. 17. Give me a second, I was like... As it like curls even closer in, you see, Moran, you are able to just like, as you see coming down on Kano, as like the other hand has just fallen to the ground. You see, um, Kate Moran, you're able to just slash at it and cutting a few uh, bits of coral off and scraping away at more, causing a, a, a snow, um, a fall of debris all over Kano and yourself. As he then, with your momentum and bulky movements, he's able to move, uh, sweep you to the side as the Lashansaurus fist crashes into him. Where did I roll the damage for that? Did I not roll damage? I don't oh, think you rolled damage yet. I did. It, it was 21. As you take 15 damage, as it just s s smashes into you and causes the bar to tip upwards. As you as it turns, as uh, coils in, you see its face just get consumed by the fire as it turns to you and you see its whiskers flaring outwards, looking down at you low. It's going to end its turn. As Kano, as some of that water splashes down on you, you feel it turn into another healing spirit. Gaining eight. I'm oh, being kept alive by the graces of God. <laughs> <laughs> Sheola graces you. <laughs> Anything you'd like to do, Moran, before the barge starts moving? Uh, is my turn? Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm going to move my echo here. Oh, whoops, sorry. Here? Mm hmm. I don't Kano... have control of that, no, that right. token. Kano. I mean, Kano, sorry. More, uh, Taya is like swishes effortlessly with, um, as like her cape is almost like. Causing it to look like she's floating, as it cover as like the smoke around her and her cape billowing outwards, create a yin and yang silhouette of this elven ghost. Um, and as she passes passes by you, Moran, you can see um, the faintest glint of a tear shift drift through one of her eye holes. 
Moran nods to her. Uh, and by the way, that was here next to uh, Sorry, Lenico, Mama in case I need to use Sentinel. Mama stick. Um, <laughs> you got it. No worries, no worries. No, no. Mama stick. But um, in a flurry of white mist and uh, black and red fabric, she's going to uh, start slashing with the attacks originating from her Echo's space. Striking the head of the Lashan Sora. Does a 16 hit? 16 hits. Okay. Nine damage. She strikes again. That hits. Another nine damage. She's going to use her second Unleash Incarnation to strike a third time. That is a total of, I believe, 29 damage. As assist, Moran is, I mean, as Taya is slashing away at it, though like you can see when it's, as it's looking down at you, uh, at you all, you can see it's silently roaring in place as you're just cutting away, or as uh, Taya is cutting away at it and scraping away off the dead coral debris. And you can see... As that's happening, over all of its body, you can see the coral shifting color as debris flaking off of it. And you can see its eyes shifting every now and then constantly back into um, into that of the draconic eyes. But back, it returns once more back into the yokai eyes. As Anything else uh, you'd like to do, Moran? I move one over. That's my turn. Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Lo, Nico, you might want to move. <laughs> <laughs> Lo, it is your turn as it looks down at you, and you will also roll uh, Wall of Fire when you're in. So. Oh, so what? Sorry, uh, you, you Wall of Fire will also, like, at the end of the turn. Oh. Um. Am I in its range, technically? Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Well, seeing as I'm here. Oh, sorry. Actually, no, you aren't. Because. Oh. Moved up with the barge. Give me some. You just remember how many times. Okay, okay, I know how to do this. Mats. I may have fucked up the mats. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Quick maps. Quick maps. I think it's right here. There we are. But yeah, uh, Lois, your turn. Okay, um, I will use... Yuki's still around, isn't he? Yuki is, yeah. He's up for uh, two more turns, I believe. Okay. <laughs> cool. I shall use... Oh, God. Um, ask him to do a kill wounds on me. Because I would like to not die. Mm-hmm. Yuki's just my healing boy. <laughs> that's that's what is there. <laughs> um, and then I will. Uh, so I use kill wings on myself, and have him do. Uh, healing word on Kano. Mm-hmm. Give me a second. He healed you, didn't he? He said, sorry. Yes, that was the kill wounds, the first one. Yep, they just rush over, eight, tap eight, you on the nine. back, giving you giving you a pat, and then give it shouting at Kano. Nice! Well done, see? <laughs> With my help, you can do anything. Yeah. But they didn't expect that, did you? For you to say that? No. Didn't, no, no, didn't think that was useful, but like, yeah, that. 
actually is better. Like, I feel like that's more self burn as they just mod to themselves angrily. <laughs> Does the Lashen Sora count as a celestial elemental fae fiend or undead? It would, yes. <laughs> Which one? Celestial. Okay. Um. Okay. Who wants? Uh, well, I don't know why some dice rolled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't mean to do that. Uh, who would like some protection from evil and good? Because I can only do it on one person. Uh, uh, do it on Kano. Before you even got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I bother asking, but I'll do it on Kano anyway. Hello, Kano. Um, Hello. <laughs> you just get this veil of fire wash over you as Lo has uh, cast protection from good and evil in you. I think oh, I moved you. 25 feet, so. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little further away. Um, yes, that's all I can do because I'm all out of body inspiration. Can you roll mm. for me your firewall, please? Yes. Give me a second. As you rush over and cause this veil of fire to wash over uh, Kano and um, you see the dragon coil itself round, pushing itself through the fire once more as it looks down on you all. And as you guys are feeling the barge move, you feel the floor grow tumultuous and you start careening and spiraling. As the dragon, you feel the, you see the dragon's snaking body around you, coiling and moving. And as it, like a bullet, charges at you all, Kano's veil of uh, evil and good surges out from him. And with the wall of fire pushing into the dragon, you see it's um, all the coral suddenly just burn away. Um, the debris that was on it revealing the color underneath as um as its scales ruffle outwards once more like its arm and as the veil and the wall of fire just like push into it you see it just like a wave it um just caves in on itself as the floor around you is con continuously careening and spinning out you, as you can look as you look down you realize you aren't on the river anymore you've you're at the whirlpool as you can see chains in the water pulling and spinning uh, the land around you as you are s swirling around and as you feel the flow give and the barge fall into the ground you see the dragon's body crash in on itself becoming uh, water once more and it's splashing down on you as you see the barge trail down the length of the dragon's body and up ahead like uh, fr like in front uh, not in front of you but like upwards from where the dragon's body and neck is that's coming down on you all as you guys are sliding down further into a void as you can see chains pulling uh, at the water uh, spinning it as like you are in the void of the world uh, the water uh, the whirlpool as you see the water falling down and as you are just falling crashing into the ground you feel 
me a second. I, uh, I, I grab Lonico and Kano. Mm -hmm. I, I just shout, is that always supposed to be this eventful? <laughs> I really hope not. And as, like, you are, like, just holding onto your shirt, like, just, like, preparing to brace yourselves, the, you feel the barge just explode as you hit the round. And, but you are all perfectly fine as you're, you guys are all standing upright and solid as the barge is in splinters around you. As you can see, latching onto all of you are 13 just orbs of uh, tiny fire just ho holding up a deal. I mean, you feel them shaking. You can see Yuki Aww. is like just like in the corner shaking uh, as if they're vomiting, but they, they can't vomit. And they're just like just <laughs> spiritually retching from uh, falling down this dragon slide. As you can see around you, the coiling body of the snake um, further out in the void, as you can also see webs um, with those equestrian creatures that you saw earlier um, staring at you all. And at the center of, um, of this location, I'm going to move you guys over here. At the center of this location, I'm going to move you guys all the way over there, because you guys are actually over here now. At the center of um, this void is a platform of stone. Um, at this, uh, give me a second. Um, yeah, at this platform of stone, you can see... Uh, it like inclines upwards into a very tiny little hill and at its peak is uh, a Tory gate and um, as Yuki is just like wiping away at the non-existent um, vomit um, they just <laughs> they just walk over to you guys see told you I'd, I'd get it done were you just puking uh, ghosts can't puke. Oh, well, spirits, sorry, can't puke. My mistake, as they put on their monocle for that one second. And then... I give Yuki a hug. <laughs> Yuki hugs you and gives you a very warm and tight hug, and you can feel them shaking. And then they just, you just, they message you. Thanks. <laughs> and, um... Should just, like, pat them on the back. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, when you when you both like uh, pull away, he he pats you on the head. Mm -hmm. We did it. Where next? Moran wants to come up next to the both of them uh, and sort of sink very gently down uh, onto her knees next to the two of them, and uh, opens her arms for a hug. Thank you Hugs. for getting us here. I'm also gonna come in for a hug. <laughs> Yuki, Yuki, Yuki also joins in. And Uwu blushes. <laughs> <laughs> you did a fine job, both of you. Yeah. But it was scary, huh? Oh, no, I... No, I... I, I no, didn't... you weren't scared? I was not right. scared, of course. No, you're yeah. very strong, of course. Kano, of course, was the one screaming, and like, um, luckily I was here <laughs> to protect him. Right. First, I'm the oh, one yeah. that ripped off his arm. Um, well, yeah, that was because I told you to rip it off. Do you remember? Do you remember when I said that? Moran no, elbows Kano. Yeah. Play along. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> this is some <laughs> god thing, and you want me to to lie to it? Uh, excuse me, I'm not a god. But uh, thank, you are you? thank you for considering. Um, I'm just, I'm just uh, familiar. As they walk uh, walk around low, and once like passing through the threshold where like their heights are perfectly matched, they reform back into a kitsune oh. as it curls around uh, low. <laughs> coming up to her knees. Um, uh, I like this form a lot better. At, the, at this form, <laughs> you notice low their color is different as well. Um, Instead of green and purple, it is now uh, yellow and pink and red. And as they sit in place, they fan their tail 
into into nine. Thank you. Oh, what are the pink hair crew? Oh, oh, that's oh no, yeah, <laughs> that's that's good. Yeah, no, I uh, sorry, low, new gig. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably like having a hug, getting a hug from these two people, and like after hearing her parents' voices, like after everything was up, she's probably like crying a little bit and sniffling underneath her mask. Mm. <laughs> Moran's gonna pat her back uh, very comfortingly. I'm just gonna squeeze everyone in tighter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we do now? If he just gets I middle. think that <laughs> this little seer with stars in her eyes should walk us to the gate. And then I think she should go home. Yes, yeah. you've got friends waiting for you. You can get a nod to Lo, like you. Um, Miss Moran, Miss Takeno, is there, is there anything you want me to tell you? Rocky and Randall? Tell them that uh, I think we're going to be all right. Can you take anything back with you? I don't know, but I can try. <laughs> I'd like that. She takes off. Uh, she's she's wearing a, a black Hari embroidered with uh, deep red spider lilies and she takes it off and folds it neatly and she takes the red ribbon out of her hair and it falls free and first she gives Loniko the Haori please give this to Randall and the ribbon she puts in her other hand and please give this to Rocky she holds I want them to know that even if I'm not there, I'm still with them. She holds them very close to her chest and just gives like a very firm nod. I, uh, I don't have anything to give. As you say that, you feel your pockets grow heavy. What's in there? I pull whatever's in there out. out. You see two lumps of gold that burn away in your hands, taking the shape of two fiery suns. Here, give this to each of them. I will. And thank you for your help. I'm sorry, it's such a tumultuous trip. <laughs> There's just one more adventure. First time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She extends her hand to Kano. I grab her hand. Are Let's we go. Uh, off on one more adventure then? Yeah. I want you to meet Monaco. I love that. Are you both stepping through together? Yes. Yes, we are. Give me a second. I will say a prayer as they do so. Holding the items very close to her chest. Give me the briefest of seconds. Kino, do you think they're going to be okay? They better be, I also kick their asses. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you say that, you feel... As you like, you make your way to uh, this Tory Gate, the final Tory Gate, you see... Carved into, into, into it is the, of um, our great... Uh, markings of the four cardinal elements fire earth water and air 
making up um, the various forms of the Shioka and their familiars adorn all over it with a unnatural amount of detail and beauty that couldn't be perfected in a million lifetimes carved into this one old broken wooden gate uh, its uh, center is uh, a veil, thin veil and like as you cross through it you feel wintry a winter breeze uh, blow by as you step into a winter valley hidden surrounded by mountains and trees of with pink and red flower um, white to pink and white to red flowers flowering um, the very uh, winter blo uh, blossoms of Australia are growing um, you can see bushels of tiny spider lilies uh, dyed here and there with little nestles of lavender sprinkled here and there and as you can see in the, um, in the distance a sh uh, shrine that looks almost identical to uh, the one uh, that you you called home around you can see sitting in in its silhouette um, on a stone uh, bench um, you see a beautiful elf woman strong and proud um, you see Hanako looking at you and as she sees you cross the veil you see her strong and proud face soften Moran she just says Hanako I made it she walks over to you holds your face and then gives you a hug Moran melts into her arms I missed you I missed you too um <laughs> this is this is Kano he's he, well he's wonderful uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's my friend and uh, well he saved my We've life. got a lot to talk about. I agree. And we're gonna go back to you, um, Lo Nico, as and as you're standing there with. I'm just gonna take these away. As you're looking at uh, Yuki, and about to head back. You see this white smoke trail um, behind you, and it just swirls around you for a moment, and you feel something heavy get put in your hands as like it pulls you your hands almost like to um, to gift you something, leaving a black wooden mask. Um, Almost like yours, but a bit more angular, with larger ears and two arrowheads. Um, and then you just hear Taya's voice. Um, you 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 don't recognize this voice, but you it feels similar, familiar. Tell Rocky and Randall, I'm sorry. As you see the mist. Um, drift into the veil and you see a silhouette walk through and as like you see it walking through you get the faintest glimpse of uh, through the veil a library a grand library as this person just looks uh looks around and as they're looking around the veil closes and you feel your body fall through the ground with Yuki and uh, beside you. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wreck on. <laughs> I'm, I did. That's not what happened. Sorry. You don't fall through the ground. I'm gonna pull back. 
Sorry. I'm so sorry. I, oh. um, I was like, you, instead of, um, instead of falling through the ground, you feel like you're being drawn towards the gate yourself. And you can see Yuki also is, looks to be like eager to walk, walk up to it themselves. She's gonna glance at Yuki and be like, should we? I don't think we should go in, right? I don't know. But where else is there to go? I guess she's just gonna look around the girl. <laughs> And then, sort of clutching everything to her chest, she'll hold out a hand to 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 Yuki, even though they're a fox now. Mm. <laughs> they do shift back into their human form to hold your hand. Together. Together. She's just taking a deep breath. As you cross... Sorry, go on. No, it just, yeah, steps through. As you cross through, you feel like the veil is like water. And you feel cleansed as you pass. And as like you feel like nothing, you get a vision as your eyes go blurry. As you see Lo-Fi Boy collapse. Randall being held back by spider, uh, by the spider, uh, a larger spider yokai, and Rocky cluttering away at a fire veil that's surrounding you. And as like soon as that vision fades, you see a flash of white. And we're gonna end the session there. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Thank you all for coming yeah. to session 21 of Throne of Top Sands. A trial by fire part two. I'm shaking. Gonna cry. Just cry a clock. What time is it? It's cry a clock. Oh god. Yeah. Goodbye, Moran, Kena, Teo. And, uh, see you on the other side. Mm -hmm. I guess see see everyone later. Mm -hmm. And they eventually bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Very pain of you. Um, yeah. Uh, before we before we go, uh, do you guys want to tell us about yourselves? AJ, you want to tell us about McClunky Squadron? McClunky Squadron is a Twitch channel. That you should follow because it is full of everything you love and everything you don't even know you love yet. It has me, has Sam, uh, Sam West in the chat, has a couple other people who come in, but it's mostly me and Sam a lot. <laughs> uh, and we do a lot of things. We talk a lot about Marvel, we talk a lot about uh, movies, TV shows, everything that's out right now. Uh, and we also have D and D. Uh, sometimes we cry. Sometimes we don't. That so. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. I'm crying. Uh, yeah, that's that's Cause McClunky. My, Cause I'm my poor Reese. Sometimes we don't. That. Oh. <laughs> I mean, rest rest in pieces, Reese. <laughs> don't don't rest in pieces. Her. <laughs> yeah. Um. We're gonna. Yeah. Epi, do you want to tell us about yourself? Um, definitely. I'm Epi. I make art. I'm very active in the Vibe In Discord, so head on in there and say hi to me. Um, but if we're talking about pieces of art, I gotta say, this is some of my favorite art I've ever done. It's playing with you guys, so what the thanks hell, for having man. me. What the hell? <laughs> that was <just> very <laughs> sweet. Gosh. Yeah. Fuck. Oh boy. Um, yeah, Georgia. 
Uh, yeah, I'm Georgia. I make uh, jewelry uh, based some based off D and D classes, some based off weapons and armor and stuff. Uh, I also do art occasionally. Um, yeah, I, I've got another group hug to draw now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm addicted to trying to draw group hugs, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Gosh. Um, but yeah, let me just do this. George Marjorie. Um, but yeah, uh, that's session 21. We'll see you again next, next Sunday uh, if you want to continue on the journey uh, on october 30th um and if you want to catch up on the campaign if you want if you haven't seen previous sessions you can catch the vods there at youtube um if you enjoy all the art you've seen or most of the art you've seen uh either like if it's fan art real you'll find most of the people in the discord uh the maps are done by two minute tabletop um and all the tokens and uh, most of the character art is done by me usually epi has helped design a lot of the stuff and everyone as a cast and a crew we've um a lot of it's been us putting stuff together and like working as a team it's it's been a good time and so yeah if you want to support us um come check all all our individual stuff out um if you want to see yeah, thank you Robo. um if you want to grab some of the tokens or my homebrew content you can get it on my Kofi. um here's a link to my instagram and my twitters and everything else um, tomorrow, I'm going to be running a game with Ro uh, as part of uh, Roll Twenty Con as a ambassador showcase. I'm going to be uh, starting the whole thing off. Uh, 8 p.m. BST, 12 p.m. EST, 3 p.m. EST. No, wait, 8 p.m. BST, 3 p.m. EST, 12 p.m. PST. Um, it'll be Casino um, Casino Wizard, which is a dungeon uh, that's part of. Um, it's it is set in Sri Leo. It's set right here in isoto where the party you last were at the casino dungeon or isoto casino and you can uh take part in this in that cool dungeon it'll have a lot of cool uh channel interaction and modular uh, little things that you guys can interact with by being in chat <laughs> everyone get the healing spirit um i'll make a note of that oh i feel um, refreshed we are not um Thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys for watching. If you've been lurking or hanging out or watching the VOD, thank you for being here. You're all beans and good eggs. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to raid Owlbear in. So I'm going to... So I'm going to just put in the raid... I am emotionally compromised right now, Kaz. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> I guess me and me and the crew are gonna are gonna hang out for a bit and and talk and cry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys <laughs> for being here, and well, hopefully see you again next time. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have a good time. Morning. Good afternoon. Yeah. More crying. Oh yeah. When when are we crying? <laughs> but yeah, hope you have a Bye. good morning. If good afternoon. Bye. Good evening. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'm hey. gonna throw the raid messages in chat in a second. Too, which, but yeah, just give me a minute. But yeah, I'll be there. All right, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
make an arcana hey, check. Hey, Kaz. Oh my gosh, you've you've brought a whole storm to us. Uh, quick shout out to to the yeah. Hey, Kaz. Magnificent being. We will see you on Tuesday. Oh, I don't know how that works. Check out Bob over at Bob. <laughs> I've never used that one. I'm Bob. <laughs> Cool cats will be joining us in October. Sweat cats, Alan. <laughs> yeah, let's get the specials. Hi, everyone. You've just entered into a point where three of the characters died, and now they're all back uh, at a heavy, heavy cost. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Kaz, all the same. We, we... gotta be kidding me why do you keep rolling so high he does know all things he does know all things this is fair um she so... hung he who knows ten thousand things <laughs> we're gonna think for a moment about uh barnstorm um i mean it's magic magic's not your forte you're you're no, really not at all. i mean you're not yeah. even proficient in it uh it's i think a negative modifier for you for arcana Actually, it's a plus one, but... Oh, it's a plus one. Oh, good. Okay. But you do... As you're, like, 